What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show, or welcome to the show if this is your first time. It's a good one. We got a good one for you today. It's the Santino family playing against the Matheson family. I've been watching way too much Family Feud. Maddie Matheson's on the show this week. This beautiful beast, this killer of the kitchen, this rotund royal king of the cookery is here. I love this dude. He's so funny. He's so awesome. It's his second time on the show. Uh, I love getting a few repeat guests this season, particularly because the Rones got us all tied up and a lot of people can't make it into L.A. or aren't around town or whatever, what have you. But I'm glad that this dude came back into town and he's back on this show because we had so much fun the first time that we met and we became close buds. And now his show, Just a Dash, is on YouTube, which is incredible. Um, him and Benny Blanco have a show. He's doing so much stuff. It's ridiculous. Uh, I love this dude. If it's your first time with us and you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, do all that good stuff so you know when we post. But we post every Friday. Can't miss us every Friday. If you're on YouTube, look below. There's the merch bar down there. Shirts, hats, cups, glasses, sweaters, hoodies, pullovers, slingshots, uh, whatever you want, dude. It's all there. Uh, or go to andrewsantinostore.com. andrewsantinostore.com. We'll have all that. You're looking for more content? We got it on the Patreon patreon.com slash whiskey ginger podcast that's where i do zooms for the top tier which is awesome we do that once a month it's so much fun everybody gets in there and just chats it away while we're having a couple of sodi pops i also do the uh, solo episodes live there on the patreon uh it's nice and fun i'd love you to join if you're looking for me on tour aha we booked two dates salt lake city uh first weekend in april Addison, uh, Addison uh, down in Texas last weekend in April, hoping that these things stick because of production and all the stuff that's going on. But go to andrewsantino.com for them tickets. Get them before they shell out. Uh, enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75. Gingers, oh hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that for all my guests, but I mean it once again today. It's Mandy Matheson. Welcome back, me. Welcome back. Welcome back. back, me. You're Thank back. you, Andrew. Cover the mic with the thing, see? I did cover it. I brought okay. it. I put You're it a Canadian. Here. He's an out-of-town hardhead, so we want to make sure that we're doing all the precautions. This is it. Is this it? All right, put it over your face. Yeah, My that's fault. good right there. Thank Maddie's you. back in town because he's doing stuff with uh, famous, rich, cool people all the time. Do you want to talk about the show that you're filming? Are you allowed to talk about it? What's going on? Yeah, it's for Benny Blanco. I'm, I'm not getting paid, so I can talk about however I want. But he's not paying you? No, there's no payment for Maddie. Why would there be? He's like, hey, do you want to shoot a thing? I was like, yeah, let's do a cooking show. And then he's like, oh, it's, it's to... Uh, Market my entire new album that's gonna make me more millions of dollars. What's his album? What's his album gonna be called? It's like Justin Tim. Is it? It's just mostly about Justin Timberlake's relationship with himself. Justin Timberlake is so sexy, dude. Honestly, every he's time I long, see that guy, he's got a he's long, long. He's got a long skinny, arm. He's a long got a long skin. arm, dude. A long forearm. Mine, it, 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 what? No, no, no. You're beefy. You are, aren't you? I'm a beefy boy. You're beefy down there. You're like a can. I have it's a like hog? a tuna can, isn't it? It's it's fine. It's thick. I've, it's thick it's like fine. the threads on that beanie, and you know it is. It's. <laughs> so it's you're in fun. town not getting paid from Benny Benny Blanco by the way who was on this show shout out we did it in his backyard man did he not have a good time on this show why was he didn't get it I don't think he got he the show he doesn't know how to talk to people he doesn't know how to do comedy stuff I think he thinks comedy stuff but he doesn't know how to do comedy stuff he's good at TikTok he's good at TikTok mm. he is good at TikTok He's very good at TikTok. He's not good at just sitting here saying nothing to another person saying nothing yeah. and making it good yeah he doesn't know how to do this yeah. he doesn't know how to do the rhythmic bounce around speaking of which I want to talk. Basket me. Let me. Let's oh. talk about it. Yeah. Um, you have a good show, Kapow for Truth Angels, that you do with with Two Tone. Two Tone, Alex. Alex Two Tone. It's very, very good. People should people should check it out. Two Probably the funniest thing that's been going on right now, and I do want to talk about it. I okay. know it's weird, but there's a, there's a guy in the comedy community who you're friends with, who you've known for a long time, <laughs> named Heavy Jeff. Jeff Danson. And you put him on the show, and and you came at him, and then he came back at you guys. And now he thinks his life is in danger. He thinks his life is in danger. Because um, it is? Because uh, it could be. <laughs> it, it could be. Fuck. Yeah. The thing is, the thing is, is I've known Jeff before he came to L.A. Sure. You're you Toronto, know, I'm, right? I'm from Toronto. Yeah. He's from Toronto. We know each other. I knew him when he was fat. His whole bits about when he's, how he's skinny now. Way to go, is that, Did you have a jealousy thing about that? 
Yeah, well, I'd like to see my dick. Do you want to lose weight? No. Do I want to? Yeah. Like mentally? Like when I talk to my therapist about no, no, me but, losing weight, but I can't? But for real, do you really want to lose weight or do you not I'd really like care? I'd like to lose some. How much? I, wipe, I have to wipe myself different now, you know? It's like I've gotten to the point where I have to like use the toilet as a, as a, as a vice grip for my hand and then I move my body onto it. You have to shift around a I lot. I shift around, I grunt, there's breathing. Do you, not have, do you not have like a, a, like a tushy I, or like a spray? You don't have a tushy on your I toilet? Have, I haven't installed at home. Dude, it's the I greatest. I don't, I don't, I, I, I'm not kidding, I don't wipe anymore. You just spray off. I maybe do one wipe and then I spray everything and then it's all taken care of. Do you do you use like a, a wet tissue like a baby like a baby wipe? Uh, we ha I have baby wipes around the house, mm. but I got to tell you uh, from an experience from when I used to live with roommates, they broke a we broke like a pipeline because of that. You can't you know you, have you to can't flush those. No, you have to put them in the to in the trash. In the trash. I don't want to see baby wipes in the trash. It's for dirty ones. It's gross. The it's weird. Ones. They're yeah. not for that. They're Even for if you fold over a few times. It doesn't really matter how many times Do you, you fold. Fall or, I fold my when I wipe my paper towel. Paper towel. Oh no no toilet, toilet paper, paper. I mean, I'm always a folder. I'm a folder. You, so folder or scruncher is the. My son scrunches and it drives me nuts. Well, and because I, he's like five. And what I'm if you're to teach him? Because what if your fingers? Well, they go through, or you're just pushing it around. Mm -hmm. It's like taking a whisk and putting a whisk up there. <laughs> and I'm like, stop whisking your ass. Mm -mm. Yeah, you got to. I'm my a son. folder. I'm a folder, not a scruncher. I fold, and. I, it was so funny, and I don't want to, like, uh, we're talking about comedy. We're talking about comedy. On another person's podcast, I heard somebody describe how they wipe their ass, and it was exactly how I wipe my ass, and I don't know if the first time I ever meet that person, that's the, the point. I was just like, I saw you on a podcast, and you, you we wipe, wipe, the, you wipe same. the same. You pluck. You, you push <laughs> in, and you pluck out, and I, and I think that that's nice. No, that's a good meeting Is of minds. A, who is it? Can you say who it is? It's Burt Kreischer. Oh, yeah. But, well, let me say this, though. <laughs> I, I don't know how that... I don't know if he actually does anything that he says. He like, just this says guy, things. Yeah, he just says He's a lot maniacal. of stuff. He's insane. It's incredible. He's not together. We're going to yeah. get back to heavy in one second. We went on a tangent, but hold on. This is going to be a tangent tree Plucking more than you've asshole. ever seen. You do the scrunch, so do I. Now, this is a, a new debate I've seen on the internet. Mm. Do you sit down when you wipe or you stand up? Sit down. I have to because once I said, I have to put my arm down, and then I use... I sit almost on my arm. And then I put, <laughs> and then I punch my ass, yeah. and then I put it in, and then, I, God, you gonna show the team, show the kids. I go like this, and then I kind of like, yeah. And then you yerk and it I up. I do like a motion. Yeah, you yerk it up. I can't like if I was in a small stall, I got my knees out. Yep. If I do this, yep. I'm like I don't know. I just keep hitting my nuts. Don't go to Japan. Don't. So the bathrooms are very small. You would. You my would... life is determined on a large. I need a stall. I'm do you a, have like, big a bathrooms Clydesdale. at home? Do you have big bathrooms at home? Huge. I'm, ri I'm huge. Rich guy. Rich guy. Successful. Rich guy. I like to say successful. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, millennial way of saying rich. Our parents used to say rich and wealthy, and yeah. our generation says successful or. Uh, I pay a lot of taxes. Doing well. Doing he's, well. He's doing well. No complaints. No complaints. That's no what complaints. it is. Oh no, he's good. They're they're no, fine. No. Uh, pandemic. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Bad boy. Ah! And by the way, speaking of which, that that is to be said. Uh, guys, comment below uh, your email. Maddie will Venmo you a thousand dollars. He's going to pick ten people. That's what he said. He said when it comes on the show, he wants to Venmo ten people of my fans a thousand dollars. Wouldn't make uh, nothing. Wouldn't make any problems for you. Wouldn't would make any problems. You'd be fine. You'd be fine. I, I tried. I tried to make a. I gave two tone. This. I have a credit card where it's kind of forever. It's a forever money card. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, if you can guess why I'm here. <laughs> Because I surprised him on the, our podcast, yeah. And I put this very heavy metal card on the table. You're talking about the Amex. I understand. It I know. I know what he's doing. It, it's, it's the opposite of a white card, yeah. and, and so I put this down, mm -hmm. and I was like, "You can, you can buy yourself anything. How about a that? Anything." Tone? I was like, "Whatever you would like, a new car, whatever you want. Guess why I'm here?" And he was just like. Couldn't say like you're here to make a stupid cooking show, right? <laughs> like he, he was just that's like, the first what else guess. Would I be here? Yeah, cooking show. Why would I else be? Here? I'm not something an actor. about. I would either guess either just a dash. He literally didn't or with say Benny. cooking. He literally didn't say. He was just like you going through right all back. these things, and I was just like, "You're an idiot." What an idiot! You could have. And I and I showed up. I surprised him. I gave him a giant gold chain because of the the the, the, this the success. Guy, this guy's getting a little too much stuff from you. Little too much, Tony. And tone. he's not even that good on the podcast. <laughs> I have to keep it on. I have to carry he's the good. He's he good. good. He's good. He's good. Wait a minute. It's not great. What would you buy if I slapped down a card and I said you can buy anything you want from this? What would you buy? I have everything. I don't yeah. know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You uh, don't want for much. No. Look at me. You look. I, good. I rent a Mazda. Like I might. Yeah, but it's spe a speedy Mazda. It's a, it, it's a V6. Is it? Mm. 
a I can go at least a, I, I, I was kind of late. I had a late little coffee, met a, a buddy, and I drove really fast here. I was going like 140 miles on the 101. <laughs> no, no, you're going, you're thinking kilometers. Miles. You're going 140 MPH. That car doesn't get over 90. There's no way. Uh, 140. I kicked it. You did? I, sh- I, was, I was like, sh- <laughs> I was like, what's that? You're just neutral dropping it? Yeah. Let's, let's go backwards. Okay. Heavy. So look, you and Two Tone were making fun of. You guys were having we had fun. Him on as a, we had him on as a genuine yeah. guest. Yeah. We're doing a new podcast. My homie from Toronto. He, you know, he's he. he fuck. He's here. He's here. He's here. Yeah. Come on the pod. <laughs> you know, he's yeah. here. I love him. I genuinely like the. Fuck. He's I a love good him. egg. He's a good buddy. He's a good egg. And he comes on, and somehow I just big dogged him. Real hard. But it, wait a minute. You did I saw it. You guys didn't really you guys just kind of you were joking around the whole we were time. Around. It was very light. It was it was light, but I think I don't know. I think uh Heavy took it the other way. He took it the wrong way. He took it the wrong way. And and I even apologized. I was just like, you know what? I maybe maybe you are funny. Maybe you, you maybe maybe you are funny. <laughs> you know? <laughs> There's nothing more offensive, by the way, than you you literally saying, You're not funny. To, 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 to someone a, in comedy. Yeah. <laughs> it, it just if left. you feel that way, that's the truth. If you're like, this person isn't funny, they're not funny. But he's funny off stage. You t- he, he took no, it I as... <laughs> <laughs> he got clipped emotionally, and then he came back at you guys the next episode, and basically... Not even the next episode. He came back to us, like, this is like six months. Oh, well, right, but so I mean, the next time he was back. The I mean. next time he was back. Right. Festering. It's mm-hmm. been festering, wormholing, making some... And he... We, I was like, dude, I, I, I hit him up. I was like, hey, come back on the pod. Let's do the redemption pod. It's yeah. been six months. Yeah. Let's do the redemption pod. Because <laughs> we've talked about it. Our fans talk about it. It's like this whole yeah. thing where it's built up. I was like, hey, we got no guests. Come on. Come on Let's on. do a redemption. Do the redemption. He comes on like furious and shirt off. He's got p- wallpaper from Wayfair. He's got, it's, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> It's incredible. What he happened? Has, he has his shirt off. He has glasses on. He he's has smoking he, a bong. He's smoking bongs the whole time. It looks like a viral video. It looks, it looks like it looks like a viral video. And then what he does is, and then what he does is, he immediately attacks. He attacks Two Tone, and Two Tone was always the person. I was the one that was getting on him. I was yeah. the one that was roasting him. And, you were, and, and continuously just because I know him, I'm comfortable. Right. You know, I'm just like when I, you're that I was close. Being a bit of a bully. Yeah, but you're friends. We it's are like friends. when we pick on each other. It's it's a part of the game. It's a it part. Is, so he takes it the wrong way, he comes to Two-Tone, and now the saga has unfolded that Two-Tone has set up fake gangs that are going to come after him. <laughs> <laughs> I've never There could seen... be some real gangs sprinkled in there. There could be some... The PP boys could be the real. The PP boys could be real. The Jayhawks, Dr. The, Cornelius. The Bird Crew. The Bird Boys. The, the Bird, bird boys. Crew. They could be real. They could be real. Dr. Cornelius. Look, I just... I wish him well if Heavy <laughs> ends up getting clipped in the streets by the Bird Boys. Or... L.A., LA's rough, man. LA's rough. You never know who you never know what kind of gang could pop up. Out here, a lot of people Multiple think gangs, gangs, they already know what they already gotta have an idea, right? Yeah, you don't have to have a face tattoo. You can have wings. You could have wings. You could, you could be wings. the angel boys coming to get you know that, that ass. That pink wall with the wings on it, that could be their symbol. Right, the Paul Smith wall. Yeah, that yeah, could be them. They could them. be the Paul Smith boys. They could be the Paul PS The pink boys. boys. Pink oh, you boys. think you're pink tough? Boys. You think you're tough? Do you think you're tough? You Let think me you show could... you my asshole. It's pink. It's pure pink. And they rub their butthole on you. Stare you have to stare at their butthole. While they tickle you, and that's their—that's what they do. That's how you get jumped in. That's how you get jumped. By the in. way, you have you seen tickle. any of those videos online of guys getting jumped in a gang? Have you ever watched those? Yeah, it's like fifteen seconds. You just gotta—you get punched like fifty times from different angles. I thought for some reason I thought it was like a continual torture thing. Mm. You just go to a park and they just punch you a few times. Yeah, I'm you, not saying it's not tough. I just thought, do you know when you first when you hear school. jumping in a gang, you're like, oh, dude, I bet it's insane. You're like, no, you just gotta get beat up a little bit. A little bit. And then you're okay. Hopefully, you get knocked out by like the first punch, and you just kind of. And then you just take ki- a couple kicks. Yeah, a couple kicks. <laughs> you're like, let's go, guys. Just gather some Thank CTE. Thank you. Finally. Do you think that's going to be home. a thing? Are gang members going to have CTE in the future from getting jumped in gangs? I think so. Is that a concern? They're going to have. I don't want therapy. my kid playing pee wee football or mm-hmm. getting into a gang from because of CTE. No, you fall, bonk your head. You got an earache, earache, and you're sick forever. For a long time. It would you? Would you? To... Would you ever have joined a gang when you were a kid? <sighs> Were you that? Were you that kind of kid? Me and my brothers were like tough, small town kids. Yeah, but we were just known as like the Matheson boys. You were because you were troublemakers. Yeah, we weren't like every weekend if we went to like the bar, there's a fight, and you're in it. Either one of us, 
For sure. That's what can that's can, that's yeah. Canada in well, a we nutshell. We would fight. We would fight. We would fight. I've talked about it, like we would fight, and then after the fight, you do a shot and you do a key bump, and you're back to fucking and your buds homies. again. Yeah, you're just a bunch of maniac Canadian kids, and it, there was never the thing too in Canada. The thing, the biggest thing about fighting yeah. in America. I think is weapons. There's, is weapons. <laughs> yeah. There's yeah. weaponry. Yeah, we there's have our, weapons. There's there's weapons. So in Canada, if you fight some, it doesn't even come into it's it's a fight. Yeah, it's a fight. It's a fight. Hey, fuck you. You bumped into me, you spilled your fucking vodka soda on my girl. Let's go fucking fight. Knock Let's up. go. Knock up. Yeah, yeah, and you fucking swing. Well, that's because we we um I tough guys now guns is tough guy, cool guy thing. You guys to have guns, but not like we do. We hunt like deer. You guys are hunters, right? Our guns are street I don't use. know one person that owns a gun. That owns a hunting gun or I know a handgun? that own like... I don't know. I do not know anybody with a fucking handgun. I'll tell you that much. That's wild. Yeah. I, I mean, like, I know so I many some, people that have guns. Yeah. It's a normal... But none of the people that I know that have guns would pull it out on someone in a fight. But they Maybe if it was in their car. But they have it for what? When the zombies come? Zombie apocalypse. But like, honestly, like, okay, I've never used this thing. I've never been in this situation. Fuck, someone pulls up and they're going to steal your car and you got your kid in it. What do you do? My gun's in the trunk in a Ziploc bag in the side of a, a safe in the trunk. Here's what I do. My kid is in the car. My yeah. gun is in the trunk. I get out immediately, hands up, and I say, take the kid. There's a gun in the trunk and the code is 4589. And, and I'm out of there. Yeah, you got to let me go. That kid, 15K. Easy, you could sell that kid. Maybe maybe more. more. It he's, depends. He's white. A white kid, with, it, well, it depends on how pale my child is, yeah. you know? Like, if I have more a really pale, pale child, money? more pale, more money. More pale, more money. Welcome back to more pale, more money. That's a- <laughs> <laughs> so insane. I would do, if you, <coughs> by, the, by the way, I've had it, there's, there it is, there what? it is. No, that was me clearing my throat. Okay. I was clearing my throat. Uh, I've, had, I've had two friends I know get carjacked. Mm. And I always think, I, when I've heard their stories, I think, what would I do if mm. I got carjacked? Start swinging. I'm out. I'm no, no dude. Just say nice thanks. Because here's the difference: you Look get Batman, carjacked Batman's here. Batman's parents. Batman's parents took out the wallet, and they still got killed. Yeah, Bruce, they still got Bruce killed. Wayne, the Waynes got killed. But they were they targeted were nice. because it was the Wayne family, and they had money, dude. I think they didn't. They weren't targeted. They just happened to walk down the alley. No, way. they knew that was that. They knew that was what was Wayne. What was his father's name? Uh, Doug. What, Doug Wayne. Doug Wayne. Doug, Doug and Doug Barb, Wayne. Doug, Doug and Barb Wayne, Sa- and Barb. they ripped her pearls. I remember that the scene pearl, so vividly. Don't dance with the devil in the pale moonlight. moonlight. That's Jack right. Jack Nicholson, greatest actor of all time. 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 Who's better? Gata. <laughs> From Dave, yeah, Gata. <laughs> Gata. Who's, who? Like, who do you think? You think really think Jack is probably the top? He's your top guy. Brad. No, I, I love. River runs through it. I love Tristan? Leo. Leo's great too. I I'm a sucker for handsome guys. I like I love like basketball. I love. I'm like, what's your favorite movie? I'm like, The Departed. You know, like I'm just like I'm like that so guy good. who's like Gangs of New York, perfect film. It was a perfect film. It's a perfect film. It was a perfect film. Cameron Diaz hasn't made a movie since. I don't think. Just need to. She's no. sitting on money. Yeah, from the mask. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, That's after it. that she could have quit. She could have. She's like, thanks, Jim. That or something about Mary. Mm, perfect. No, that's a great film. A perfect comedy film from front to back. And by Wait. the way, someone talked about this to, to me the other day because mm. I've talked about on stage now that I, I no longer wear underwear. No. I well, swear you, to God. You have, it's like this. Yeah, that's, just, that's, that's it. it. That's it. Was it. Mo- this is model. This is, this is a mold. That's a dildo. This was a mold that's a mold of me. Of that's mold. a mold of me. Yeah. And this is what's inside of it. Yeah. A bunch full. of whiskey. At all times. I have whiskey dick always. I have whiskey, but it worked. Someone in the crowd said, because I, I say to the crowd, I propose it, I say, I don't wear underwear and I haven't in a long time. Mm. Tell me why you think I'm wrong. Yeah. Because I love to hear people say why. They always, the first thing they always say is dirty. something about Mary. No, they always oh, say, what if you get your dick stuck in your zipper? Yeah. And to that I say, I don't know one person outside of that comedy film that's Never ever have. done that. No. Never done that. Mm-mm. So so that film is so prolific. Mm. On lies. On lying that we bought it and we thought that must happen all the time. It scared a nation. Yeah, because do you know I've never heard of any guy I have ever known zipping up their ding dong in their in their jeans. Never. No, maybe Balls. Like once on mushrooms, maybe I got like a little zzz. Like a nick. Like a nick or something. Like but that's I'm drunk you're... or fucked up and you're like zzz. Right. Like never, I tuck my little thing in the thing and I push it in. Yeah, like an elevator I push button. It in, and when I zip up, I kind of push out the zip to pull back. Too. <laughs> I push I mine in. It, like I pull, I pull away. Zip. <laughs> you pull I down. Pull away. It's a whip, whip. And I zip it up. See, whip, whim, and and people always say stuff like uh, the crowd always says stuff like what about uh, what about uh, sharding? Yeah. 
Obviously, and I say- like I shard my pants and then I wash them. Wash the jeans. I'm a man. If that accident happens, mm. deal with it. That's deal like saying it. I spilled coffee in my car. What, are you never going to drink coffee in your car again? What, you shake Clean your it underwear up. and you still walk around with shitty underwear? Same thing. See? Two layers? You're, what, one layer away and you're walking around with shit pants? And, and by the way, those, those uh, underwear, they've been pro it's been proven- Underwears don't work. Underwears, they're, it's a conspiracy a theory. It's a fallacy. It's a fallacy, just like everything else that's going on in the world right it's like now. Like Lord of the Rings is real. Underwear helps you. Phony. Phony. It's phony. How long are you in LA for, by the way, baby? Uh, until March two. <whistles> My yeah. boys are around. Mm. This is really good. I'm glad that you're here. I'm glad that I'm here. I want to do all the podcasts. No, just do two. Just two. Just two or three. We're yeah. not going to talk about any of the other ones that you've done. I'm not. Because I don't. I don't. I'm not concerned with that stuff. I don't want to know about that this stuff. This is it. This is the only one that exists. All right. Was this pine? This is uh this this is grouch. Do you know grouch. what grouch is? Grouch. Grouch. It's tree. a made up tree. I've just I'm making up right grouch now. Grouch is fine. This is grouch. It's from Chicago. No, no, it's from up Minnesota. It's Minnesota. From upper grouch. Minnesota. It's a Minnesota grouch. It's yeah. A, it's a softwood. You know what you have to do while you're in LA is go downtown and go to the Cecil Hotel. Do you know about this? You've heard about all this nonsense. Oh my God. I've it's been, been it's been talked about ad nauseum now. So I talked about it on this other podcast I did. Boo. Fuck Tiger Belly. Yeah. And losers. And I broke into that hotel like. Seriously? A year and a half ago. Dude, we walked up and we opened the sliding door. Me and Two-Tone. Yeah. Because we were going to, we were like, we want, yeah, that was, that was a bit much. What is it? No, no, no. Why is it? Because we're talking about the Shh. Cecil. Do you think this is because Cecil? It's the spirit. Wait, you and Two-Tone broke in? So me and Two-Tone. Because we're obsessed with this podcast, Root of Evil, which is about the Black Dahlia murder. Yeah. Because the house, the Frank Lloyd Wright's son, or the house that supposedly she was murdered in is down the street from Tutone's house on Franklin. Yeah, it's, uh, it's in Franklin High, and, like, Highland Normandy. Park or whatever. Or, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Los Feliz. Yeah. Los Feliz, whatever. yeah, yeah. And, and, and one night we were like, let's go do, like we were like Googling like LA, like LA's mad haunted or mm -hmm. whatever, stuff. And we were like, let's go to the Cecil. And we were just like, let's go downtown and like go to the Cecil. And it was like, we show up and there's just like, it was so scary, actually. It's gross down there. It's not. It's gross. It's not and, nice. And they try to pretend like they're fixing it for the past 20 years that I've lived here. And we literally, <laughs> we literally went and, and it was like, just like, uh, like sliding doors. Because it's closed, right? It's closed. It's, yeah. yeah. That's right, right. And we fucking, I was just like, open it. Fuck opened it. it. And yeah. we, walk, we walked into the lobby. <sighs> and we were just like. Ugh. And we were in there, and we were like, "What the fuck are we doing?" The vibe was gross. Huh? Oh my god! And but it's, it's at night, and there's a, and then we saw like uh, houseless, what, houseless people, H homeless here, homeless here. I don't know, Canada. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's different Canada? words for it. It's we say we say between living situations. Between living situations. I think that's probably the normal. That's and then there was a couple of between living situations mm -hmm. looking through the sliding door because we closed, and I was like, "What if we can't open it? Like, what if it's like you can't leave? Oh, you're stuck." And then me and I was just like, ah, and we were with our friend Andrea and two Did you go to the roof? No, we got the fuck out. Because we got in there, and you know when you're like, you are you got the goosebumps, your balls shrink up, your yep. nipples get hard, you yep. feel like you're going to have diarrhea? Yep. I was just like, ah, because I was just like, as soon as you get in your head, as soon as you get kind of scared. It's over. You're scared. Yeah, you're, you're scared. You're scared. You're not scared like 10%. Yeah. Standing inside the lobby of the Cecil Hotel. Yeah. But it was just crazy. I was like, how is this? Like, the sliding door was open and the door was open. See, I like, think you could just walk into this fucking hotel. I think the most scary places, though, us. are places that aren't scary like that. Like, right, that has a notorious history of other. Mm. To me, scary like is Ralph's. like, we shot in the basement oh. of Dave C. Like a Ralph's, a Vons, like a John's. <laughs> yeah. In the back loading dock of a John's. I, we shot in the basement of the um, mm. Wiltern um, Theater, which is a beautiful music venue that on Wilshire so and Wilt. Dude. Uh, when we were downstairs, like I'm not kidding. Uh, the the vibes were so, and I was like, "This is uh, a beautiful theater. It's a great." We were down like two or three you go levels. Down there, like by yourself. Yeah, but it was like, but you, the, but it felt uh, sad and creepy and gross. Things but it's happened just, down there. It's but it's a music venue. But then you think, mm. like I shot this commercial oh. a month ago or two months ago or whatever for FanDuel that like came out and went away really fast. Mm. And um, we shot it in San Jose in the basement of an old children's, oh, uh, like what, do, what do you call like those? Like... No, 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 what do you call those? Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but like a, like, a, like a for sick children home. Yeah, they got polio. Yeah, yeah, like polio home. Yeah, yeah tuberculosis, tuberculosis home, TB. a TB home. TB home. We were in the TB home basement. I lived in an old TB building that turned into like cool lofts. <laughs> Why did they do that? 
They always take places that are really sad and old. Like there was an old, like a, a high school by it's me. Nice fixtures. A high school by me was um, uh, a children a children's live in school, mm. and it burnt to the ground with kids inside of yeah. it. And they just rebuilt it. They're like condos. Yeah, now it's a be- yeah, beautiful, beautiful condo. million Open dollar condo. <laughs> Concrete. Uh, uh, large Concrete. roofs. Yeah. <laughs> High ceilings. High ceilings stinks like so you're dark saying 800 kids died here? I, yes, but the view, <laughs> the view. Can you see the water from here? Mm. Stunning. Yeah, you can see other people in the windows across from you. Have you had a haunted experience before? Because I'm obsessed with trying to find okay. one. I've never had one, and I want one. It's so funny. You guys, I literally talked about this on fucking Tiger Bell. No, well, then we won't talk no, about it. I've had a haunted experience. I don't want that no, on here. I'm going to read. I want. I'll read you something. What? <clears throat> so I'm staying. We're renting our home, and we're renting this old Tudor house on the lake. Okay. Tutors are always creepy to me. Old house. And for, for people that don't know, mm. tutor is someone that teaches you uh, a subject. Math, science. A tutor home is like a German house, right? Isn't that what they look no, like? No, it's like Dutch. Oh, what's the fucking difference, dude? Tudor? Dutch and German. That's the same kind of people. It's like mayonnaise and fries. They go together. Let me no see No word tutor. of a lie. I just heard a man's voice, like on TV. I thought Mac somehow got my phone to work while I was in the washroom. I asked Mac what he was watching. He said nothing. I told him I thought I heard someone say something. And he's like, I told you this place is haunted. Your that's son. my five-year-old. And that's, Trisha is in this house by Your son said that to your herself. wife. Yeah. You heard a man's voice. What did the man's voice say? I didn't ask. I was just like, cool. That's where it ends? <laughs> yeah. You just, don't, that's not, uh, you're not even done digging the well. You haven't got to the like, water I was like, wild, yet. do a couple smudges. <laughs> 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 your wife is home alone with your child. Three beautiful children. Children, children plural. Like, <laughs> and you're like, whatever, man, deal with it. <laughs> do some smudges. Do some smudges, like, I heard a man's voice talking to my, our, our son. I was like, Grow do up. some smudges. Grow up. Go <laughs> get a kid. Idiot! Idiot! Why are you getting your house rented? What's going on? Uh, success. Just. <laughs> what are you doing to it? You're adding stuff. We have, a, yeah, we have a old, we have a small farmhouse. Mm-hmm. Beautiful old house, hundred year old house, definitely haunted basement, like dirt floor basement. Yeah. So old house, and now we have three children. We just need a room, so I'm just kind of redoing our kitchen and like building up an extra room, and yeah. Do making it prettier. Yeah, just making it fit all the people that live there. Are you going to have more people that live there? No, I'm getting a vasectomy. My uh, shit's so good. Are you really getting a vasectomy? Dude, before I came to LA, me and Trish had sex. It was Valentine's Day. I like swear to God, like it was like six minutes. She's I knocked pumped. up. I was like, and then, but she was like, wait, like that. It was like, how, you know, when the big dog, when the big dog's rolling. Six minutes? I, I, I pounded. I, I was like, wait a minute. It was like a full boxing. What's your average? Seconds. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I'm winded. Like walking down those three stairs right there. I know you almost walking downstairs. You I'm winded. Yeah, you stopped. Halfway. Yeah. Just Wait. I took in the room. That's me taking in the room. <sighs> this is beautiful, <laughs> uh, Maddie. Just come down the stairs. No, it's so nice. What's your average now? Genuinely, when you're making love, what are we talking? It, it can depend. If I'm like looking at my phone, like 15 minutes. You guys ever put stuff on in the background? Some no no. Trisha likes to make love. She's a love maker. She doesn't like to have sex. No, she lo- dude. She's this, yeah. She's great. How's your <laughs> wife fuck? How's your wife fuck? Good. She, uh, uh, it's always well she, when she's in the harness. It's very fun. You know we have we have harnesses from the I, ceiling. I love a harness. Three levels of harnesses actually. I like being in the harness. It's like a basketball hoop that you can dunk on. You can raise the. I can raise it up and pull it back down whenever I want, and it just like, face level. Yeah, whatever you need. Penis. Foot. By the way, I've seen those harnesses online, and I want door one. jam. How cool do they look? I want a door jam. Yeah, but the door jam, you, you break uh, the door. Yeah, you're gonna you crack it. Hit against the door. Unless, unless, well, how your wife is skinny. Yeah. So she could probably the weight of the door wouldn't wouldn't break. Yeah, your wife's. Small. She's four eighty six, four hundred eighty six pounds. Your wife. She ballooned. COVID has not been kind. <laughs> no, pandemic. I've been, I've been feeding her. I've been feeding her. Yeah. She's like foie gras. She's like a stuffed I've goose. I've been stuffing that goose, but I'm like, come on, get thick, mama. You're like, you know why? Because we've been watching Thousand Pound Sisters, and I'm obsessed. Is it good? Do you not know this show? I know. About these two beefy uh, soup. It's good? They're, they're, uh, mm. they, she calls herself an SSBBW. So you know SS. you know what that is, right? You know, Big baby? No. You know, BBW means big, beautiful woman. Big, beautiful woman. It's a category online for yeah. uh, male men that love BBWs. But she says I'm an SS, which sounds like a cool car. Super... Super, super set. size, super size. Oh, super size. Yeah, it's hot, dude. She's I like that. Thicky, thicky, thick. 
In here, we pour whiskey. whiskey. Guys, girls, people of all kinds, is there something interfering with your happiness? I know this has been a tough, rough year for a lot of us. When I say this year, I mean whatever the whatever the ongoing thing that is happening. A lot of people are having mental health issues. Nobody wants to talk about it, but you know what? The Red Rocket do. I always talk about this stuff because I believe in it. I believe in, in uh, getting yourself some help to help yourself. Uh, better help is what I'm speaking about. For those of you that know, it's incredible. Um, it's not a crisis night. It's not a self-help. It's professional counseling done securely on the intranet. You can access it from wherever you are. Um, they are amazing. They match you with uh, a counselor that they think would fit what you need the best. I personally used it. I've talked about it on my other show. Um, and it's great. If you don't like the counselor they've assigned you for whatever reason, you know, uh, you can pick someone new. It's that easy. It's simple. And it really does work. Genuinely, you get thoughtful uh, responses. Um, you can start chatting in uh, in a couple of days. It's affordable. It's more affordable than going into a traditional counseling in an office where it's stuffy and smelly and those fluorescent humming lights make you feel uncomfortable while you're staring at someone else reading a Highlights magazine from 1997. Don't do that no more. Don't do that no more. Okay, um, try this. It's online from the comfort of your own home or office or wherever you are. Um, go ahead and check out the reviews if you're looking. Uh, betterhelp.com slash reviews. And you can check out the over 1 million people who have taken advantage of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been doing this that they are uh, BetterHelp is uh, recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states, which I think is huge. So try it out, man. I promise you it is worth your time. This sponsor, this podcast is, of course, sponsored by uh, BetterHelp and uh, Whiskey Ginger listeners can get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash whiskey. Again, go to BetterHelp.com slash whiskey, get 10% off. It's going to help you out. If you need the help, get the help, my friend, at BetterHelp.com slash whiskey. You know I like to have a couple of drinks, a few, one, two, as many as I'd like because I'm a grown man and I don't drive. After I've had a few, I'm responsible. Also, I like to keep my body hydrated. Liquid IV is the thing I use to feel good all day long. If you haven't used Liquid IV, come on, what's going on? It provides the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water alone. It has five essential vitamins, huh? How many people are getting their Vita Vita Vegemins down? Um, it's got uh, vitam more vitamin C than uh, orange and as much potassium as a banana. Come on, man. Liquid IV is delicious. It's also so good. It tastes so good. Um, and they're on a mission to change the world. They're donating 4 million servings in response to uh, the Rhone. Products being donated to hospitals and first responders, etc. I think that's incredible that they're trying to get people hydrated around the world. Because, of course, as you know, water is a problem in the world. Uh, Liquid IV has uh, incredible hydra hydration flavors. Watermelon's good. Lemon lime. Uh, passion fruit is what I really like. And they just launched strawberry. I got to tell you, tastes pretty good. And yeah, I said strawberry like a British guy because I'm a little classy sometimes. Liquid IV is so good. Um, you really should try it out, and it's going to rehydrate you. You're going to feel good, and it tastes better than just drinking boring old water, which everybody gets sick of. Um, try the strawberry. I just got it. It is delicious. I really do like it. Um, it's clean and crisp and doesn't taste sugary and nasty like uh, you know flavored sports drinks. Uh, grab your strawberry liquid IV or their other great flavors in bulk nationwide at Costco, baby. You know you shop dear. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use promo code whiskey at checkout. 25% off. That sounds like a pretty good deal. 25% off anything you order when you use promo code whiskey at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code whiskey. I like tinters. I think there's room for everybody. Well, literally. Not mu I mean, not on an airplane. Mm. She can't get on one, genuinely. I well, I, I, hey, I, we love watching. I it. sat on an airplane once. Yeah. I sat on an airplane once. Next to this, like, little rich woman with, like, you know, I was flying from Toronto. First class. To Al yeah, I have. Uh, Obviously. Yeah. And, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like fucking on her. Yeah. I'm just like, she's like here, and I'm just like, <sighs> I'm just like, hey. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, <clears throat> you're I'm just like, you're boba fatting it out. Yeah, I'm just like fucking on her. And then I'm like on my phone. I'm trying not to like really be on her. I'm like, the squeezing of the elbows is very polite. Yeah. And I'm just trying to like not take up space because it was like, it was one of those like randomly a weird small plane where business is just like, a con it was just like whatever. I was just like, this is a weird plane. Business is regular on some planes now. Yeah. Where it you're, is. it's the same as the it's rest of the, the plane. It's the same. Yeah. It's a, if I don't have a pod, I'm just like, how's the pod the same? Sa like, how is the same price? I'll, I don't. I never understood that. I, I I only want the pod. Give me the pod so I can the lay pod, down. It's like yeah, it's Let like heroin. Lay. Once you do heroin, you never want anything else. And 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 and, and this woman, I'm looking and she's like, <sighs> a gigantic 
person just sat next to me. Oh, you're seeing her type it? And, and, and I got a fucking, and I took my phone, I was just like, ah. And took a photo of her texting it. Yeah. And then I like put it up on Instagram. And there was three people behind us that follow me. <laughs> and they were just like, they hit my seat. And they're like, <laughs> and I started laughing. And then I, and then it was like obvious. How great if she followed you? Dude, I <laughs> hoped that her, and then everyone's just like, oh my God. It was just a, it was a funny thing. But that but, fucking. But now, but that, now. That old greasy bitch. You buy the whole plane. I always just, I always get the two seats. Have you flown Prive? Have you flown private? Yeah, like yeah. on a on a jet. Would Stop Jimmy it. Now, they're gonna Would take Jimmy that off. It? They're gonna hear it being like Oh yeah, that's not good for sound. The whole time we've been having it. <laughs> we'll find out what it sounds like. So yeah. uh no uh, You've flown private. So maybe. But there, it's just like it's what Where'd you go? It's whack. St. Bart's? Is that did that's, you say that out loud? That's that? hot. Wait, why why is it whack? Just you feel like typical. You, you're embarrassed by the opulence. I just, it's not me. It's just not, it's not you liar. <laughs> you said on this podcast six times, I'm rich, I'm wealthy. <sighs> it's fine. I was stuck. The, uh, uh, the flights were canceled. And then I was with somebody that was just like, hey, come. And I was like, okay. 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 Who else is in here? Oh. How many people were on the flight? Uh, six. And the, with kids or do, no? Solo, was, no family. Trisha was pregnant with Mac. She was eight months pregnant. We went and stayed for it was like three weeks. We were there. I've got invited. I've got invited. It's nice. But here's the problem. I like it there. Did you have to split? You know, a lot of people when they ask you to come on a jet with them, they want you th- you tip in. Larry David did this on Curb this past mm. season, mm. which I found interesting because I've been asked to go on one. But everyone has to. You kick in. Yeah. Which to me is that like sixty racks, no matter wherever you go, kind of. It. I no. See, I think I. It's think, cheaper than it's cheaper and like. It, it, it's, it's here's the misconception people that pe- people don't know there's about maybe 30 people that own their own private jet mm. the rest of the people that you know are renting LD? it or ld owns no way no, no chance no. no but the rest of those people they rent or they have shares of it or mm. it's a split yeah people think that like all these people that own private jets like mo- owning a private jet is absurd so most people yeah. don't own the private jet but there's a difference if you get asked to go on a private jet with somebody who's like wealthy. Yeah. Because wealthy doesn't matter. You don't talk it's about a bus. it. You yeah. just get on and it's a thing. No questions asked. But rich, but rich, you could still get asked to kick in. Because rich people are still like, yeah. yeah, but I want 10 grand for you to fly with us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's so so yeah. I so I said no. I've said no the multiple times I've been asked. And also schedule wise, they were going, you know, like, oh, let's go skiing. Yeah. I'm like, I can't do that. I'm also not that guy. Yeah. I would not, I would rather just buy a regular nice plane ticket and then Flight meet you there. Flight business is great. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. But but private to me is only, the only reason to do private. Is because you go to the tarmac. That's it, because it's because the convenience is absurd. Going to the airport sucks. Flying, I don't care. Flying, I'm indifferent. It's like I'm going to sit in there and like drink water while everybody else just who, look. Who cares? You're just going to look on your phone. Oh, it's free Wi Fi? Yeah. Like, what is it? Yay. Who cares? Who cares? But the sexiness of it is if you're able to go into small airports and you're like, you get to go to mm. the location direct, that's tight. Well, even like that flight, I've done it a couple times. Like, uh, was it Burbank to fucking SF? You can get, on Jet Suite X. Yeah. So that's different, right? That's just yeah. Like a, that's not private by any means, but it's still like a nice thing. But where those you just are like cool. roll up. That is. I cool was doing thing. that when I was doing a little bit of traveling there, but it was just like, but I don't know, private stuff or buying expensive cars or doing all this kind of stuff is just like not in my. It's not your wheelhouse. No, nah, I'd rather just like you know grow vegetables and like buy an old truck that I don't know how to fix and like <laughs> I'm still like such a fucking loser. You know. You have an old truck that you don't know how to fix. I did, and then I sold it. Because I didn't know how to fix it. My dad was just like... Got to get rid of it. He just kept on looking at me like, he's like, yeah, you know what you're doing? <laughs> he's like, what do you do? What's on? Open up the hood. You don't even know how to open up the so hood, do you? stroke 68. Yeah. I got like an 82 F250. Like, it was sick. A big brown truck. Do you have a dream car that you... Would, not money-wise that's expensive, but do you have a dream car where you're like... I'd like a... Truly, I think it like a... I'd like a, a 63 Chevy SS. That's a hot truck. Yeah, it's have, a car. Have you seen... Have you seen... Uh, have you seen what? Uh, no. Have you seen what Ford is doing with Mustangs now? No. They're doing like hatchback Mustangs. Oh and my like, god! They're like well, sport like the backs. 80s? Like the eighties ones? No, nah, they call them like they call them now. They call them like co- like um uh, coops? Uh, coops? no 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 coops, no coops. Uh, um, uh, grand coops like grand, grand touring. So it looks okay. like it's got a hatchback butt to it. To a Mustang. Yeah, really weird, dude. That's really weird. sad. They're That's going the wrong direction with That's cars. A Ford, smarten up. 
Smarten up, buddy. Smarten up. smarten up needs to come back. I feel smarten up. Smarten up. Smarten up. Why can't we have uh, all those old friends, like uh, uh, Cracker? I want Cracker to come back. Crack. Cracker ass <coughs> motherfucker. I want that yeah. back. Yeah, you want that back? Fucking jive turkey ass. Can't say mo- anything, really, except thank you, hello. Goodbye. How are you? Good evening. Good evening's nice. Do you like being called Mr.? You know when somebody calls you Mr.? If somebody says, Mr. Matheson, does that bother you? No, I'm like, thank you. See, I, I got to tell you. Mr. Santino. I've been called Mr. Santino a few times. And you're like, stop right there. I like it. You like it. It's annoying. I shouldn't yeah. like it, but they're like, yes, Mr. Santino. I'm like, cut it out. Will you? Well, Will guess you? what happens? Guess what happens in restaurants with chefs? They call you chef. They call you chef. So if they, if you get spotted at a restaurant, yes, chef. Yes, it's the wackest. And I'm like, I'll walk in and right away, like tagged or whatever, and they're just like, "Hi, chef, right this way." And like everyone then is you like, you kind of like it. I don't like that because I'm like, I'm not, I'm like a business, I'm like not a chef, chef guy. I'm just like, I'm. I'm but you are a chef. I'm incredible at it. I'm the best. <laughs> So you don't give a shit if they call you chef. No, because it's not my thing. It's like it's like I'm not a doctor. I'm not. I'm, you're not one of my cooks in my kitchen. Yeah, but that's not true. If you went to medical school and you got a medical degree, you're always a doctor, even if you're not operating yeah. anymore. But 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 it's still, still a chef, dude. Yeah, it's get like over my, it. It's like my 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 father-in-law. He's a dentist, and he still signs the business card or business cards. He's he signs our Christmas cards to Do- his daughter. Doctor. Doctor Spencer. Doctor Spencer. Yeah. But it's like like Mrs. Spencer Carol is like she'll write it. Though, yeah. <laughs> but it's like it's, our Christmas card still says like Doctor. It's incredible. Yeah, but I they. But but that's. Th- but that's it. For them, and, that's and, their life's work. Dude, they absolutely. want to be known as it. Absolutely. But you're getting away from chef anyway because you're more. You do so much more. So oh. I think you feel weird about yeah. it. That be because look, I'm not well, going to. Like, s- imagine you walk into the comedy store and they're like, "Comedian, right this way, comedian." Yeah. That is it. Yeah, but no, because there's there there is substantial weight to to getting called a chef, right? Well, there's hierarchy. Because yeah, cook you have and, to become a leater. Because cook and chef, right? Like, yeah. cook, Entre chef. Entrepreneur, chef de partie. Which one are you? What? What is all that? Chef I de went, partie, went, what is that? Uh, chef de partie is where you begin. You and begin. then what's the top? Chef. So and the, then you're like, uh, you'd be like, sous, it's like chef, sous, chef. sous uh, chef de partie, commie, chef, which is like... Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. French, French, you know French. what I mean? Get the but fuck But that's the fuck thing is like it, a lot of people now are are dismissing the this brigade style hierarchy, right? So it doesn't exist anymore. It does exist if you choose to. Just a lot of people in this modern day are being like caca poo poo. That's not how it needs to work. And I I kind of believe that. Like just everyone show up and work, and we're gonna make some salads, and you're gonna grill some fucking fish. But you believe in a hierarchy of some kind in the kitchen. You have to have something, Absolutely. right? I think that yes, I think that there needs to be leadership in anything sure. on a team. But you just don't like the labels. Yeah, I'm not a label guy. I'm like I'm punk, you know. I'm so punk. You're so punk, I'm so dude. Punk, dude. You're so punk. I'm so punk, dude. You're so punk that so you that you're that you've got <laughs> a Mazda three outside. <laughs> Imagine if the boys saw that, doggy. I <clears throat> I'm low key with the car rentals out here. No, nah, dude. Honestly, whenever, I rent whatever. I literally whenever somebody spends a lot of money on a rental car, it's embarrassing. I'm like, what are you doing? Dude, it's not your car. It's not your car. Why are you paying seven hundred dollars a day? It's so expensive for a thing to bounce I'm here around for two weeks. I don't want to spend fucking three grand on driving a fucking G wagon. But that's already. I don't expensive. drive a G wagon at home. How much are those things a day anyway? That's like fifteen hundred bucks for two weeks. Yeah, see, it's like it's already a waste of money for it's no reason. It's a waste reason. of money. I could buy a car for that. A well, you bad could, car. You should just go buy a car here and drive it until it dies. I want to. Here, but I want to say this to you, by the way, because I from last time I said to you, you taught me what mise en place means. Yeah. And I want my next album or whatever to be called mise en place. I want something to be called mise en place because I'm obsessed with wow. it. Wow. I've taught people uh, that phrase because uh, the thing is that well. You could use it as a comedian. It's to put things in its, it's place. place. Yeah, everything right? in its place. Yeah, right? everything in its place. I'm impressed by the word because I think it's so simple and it makes perfect Mise sense. Mise en place means like, be- it, you know why? Because I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Like I love, I love things in my house to be like neat and clean. Yeah. Your house isn't neat and clean, is it? Very. Because of Trish? Well, not because of me. You're super neat and clean? No. No, because of her. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm obsessive. I, I like, I'm military. Dads, like you wake up, like you're, you're, uh, those shoes don't need to be there. That's what I say. Yeah, those, those shoes, shoes don't need to yeah. be there. Like you put your toothbrush back in the same, same place, place every day. That's where it goes. Every day, there's no br- toothbrush spray on the mirror. No, I'm not yeah. a savage. Yeah, you <laughs> like a no, chainsaw. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're dirty. I, it's dripping down my. It's like all over me. But your dirtiness like, I mean, is not gross. Your, I imagine your dirtiness. I enjoy your, it. Yeah, but it's probably comfortable. Mm. 
My house isn't like my spaces aren't that comfortable because your house is like a new build. It's nice. It's everything's nice. It's just got to. I like it clean. Like it doesn't. You walk in it. It literally. It just smells like a like a like it's. It's like there's nothingness, but it's not bad or good. It's, it's just like it's. It's, it's a just, serial killer who lives there. A hundred two two of them. Two. Two of them. Your, your wife's a dental hygienist. What is, or what is She's it? She's a serial killer. Serial killer. She actually makes 400 cereal. pounds. She makes 428. Killer. You can't hear. 428, silent Se- but deadly. Oh my God. <laughs> Just wheezing. She <laughs> farts and shoots. <laughs> she can, strong hands. The farts are so loud. <laughs> and mm. They cover up the, the bullet. Mm. No, but we are been, the way, the reason I said that, we have been watching that show, Thousand Pound Sisters, and I'm gonna, I gotta tell you. Mm. They're so funny because they're in on it with you. I'm not. You're not like laughing at their weight issues or anything. They're incre- They're performers. Yeah, they're in on it. They yeah. know what the fuck they're doing. I would hope so. They pl- but also at the beginning, my they're southern. Yeah, they're from Kentucky. My inclination is that whenever you put like obese people on TV or whatever, mm. that like the TV world is being like, look at how insane this is. But then yeah. you find out, no, it's actually. It's actually about how, 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 how character-driven they are. Yeah. Like, they're characters. Mm. And when the cameras are on, they know that it's just play these characters to the yeah. room. Where's it's the who remote? they really are. Where's that remote? But it's, high, it, but it's just, what is it? It's a, an inflated version of themselves. It's, like the it's like what you do on Just a Dash. Yeah, I become the bigger idiot. I hate to admit that I like that show. It's a great show. It's the greatest culinary show. Because I don't like to give you more credit than you history. deserve. You, you get all I'm, the credit I'm already. I'm great at what I do. Yeah, it's I'm annoying. A, I, yeah, I'm great. At what I do. But but it's annoying because I want to go along for the ride all the time with you. And sometimes I, I want to get off, but I can't. No, because the culinary... See, Just a Dash is... And I will say it. And the internet will agree with me. Yeah, let's hear. It's the greatest culinary show of all time. Bro, Be- beat, beat Bobby Flay. You think it's better than Beat Bobby Flay? Beat Bobby Flay. Great idea. <laughs> Exe- I don't know if the execution worked. But the great... It was, the ideation of that show It's in syndication, works. kid. Yeah, you should do a beat Maddie Matheson where if they you cook you have a cook off mm, yeah and then at the end you actually fight them yeah beat or Maddie Matheson we have to like suck each other like we could 69 69, 69 with Maddie Matheson first Matt. one to come has to eat the shit meal well that's what it is you have to 69 and then whoever finishes first gets the gets to start their dish first so they yeah, get a head that's start that's how it starts they get a head start and then you're tuckered out because you came <laughs> Just You're exhausted cooking. Kind of oh, that was a God. Oh, shit. Right Where's behind. The water? Behind. Need a ceiling fan. Behind. <laughs> <laughs> behind. That's the show. It's called Behind with Maddie it's Matheson. Behind. behind. I watch too much of these cooking HBO shows. HBO Max. The way. Pick us up. Showcase. What are you on? Showcase. F- FX. FX. Uh, FX wouldn't wouldn't pick up the show. No. They no. This is not in their. That's not no. It it's not in their on wheelhouse. YouTube. YouTube. I love. The thing about YouTube, yeah. sink or swim, your fans are there, fuck everybody. Yeah, and no, they like it. And that's what, what Just a Dash was bred for. And why, it, when, when I left Vice, I came to LA. I'm like, I'm gonna go get a show. I'm like, I'm hot right now. I yeah. just shot three seasons of a TV show. I'm fucking, I'm somebody. Yeah. You know, came to LA, nobody knows. Everyone's like, huh? Who, who, who are you? Oh, 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 you have some Instagram followers? Oh, you had a TV show. Yeah. <laughs> but meanwhile, if you were a beautiful woman, they'd be like, give her a TV show. Let's go. No. <laughs> Big, fat, sweaty guy in like a pitch meeting. I'm just like, yeah, I'm the best. And they're like, sir, we, the big, fat, sweaty guy is here to take the meeting. Yeah. Send him in. Send him in. No, and I walk in. I'm just like, hey, how are you guys doing? Yeah, everything you guys are doing is shit. What I'm doing is great. Who's buying? <laughs> nobody you said me pitch. Nobody said yes. Nobody says yes. So then I was like, yo, fuck it. I'm going to make my own show. Mm-hmm. And I made just a dash. Like no emails, no. I told everyone to just show up at my house, yeah, and we're gonna cook whatever the fuck I got. Yeah, it's renegade style, and and, and no producer. There's not a producer. There's not a director. It's one take. Yeah, it's fucking. That's why I like it because it's raw. It, I feel like I feel like whenever I watch cooking shows on mm. on like uh, on Food Network or something like that, it's so overproduced. Like I oh. always I always make fun of at the end of that beat Bobby Flay show. He yeah. does like a when he wins, he does like a rhyme into the camera. Oh. He's always like, uh, and it pertains to whatever the dish was. He's like if, so if rich. the dish was like, oh my god, He's so if rich. the dish was like short rib hash or something like that, mm. he he'll, he'll do like <laughs> on the way out he'll like stop and pause well, to camera yeah. and be like <laughs> he'll be like uh, 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 when the plates don't when the plates don't clash. That's how you end up with short rib hash. And then he like walks away. He runs Puts away. Puts his sunglasses on. Uh, it's just, it's jumps like, on a jet ski. They try to make it so uh, uh, feel like it's not what really would happen in the kitchen. 
That's why I like what you're like. This is you, how humans act. Well, when you fuck up, I like to see it a lot. Like, or when well, you spill shit or break shit. Fuck up. It's a, dude. Yeah. You should see the next episode. Like, uh, we just did falafel. Like the next episode. Yeah. Is I make this really intense. Like I try to make the perfect consomme, and I wear a tuxedo. I'm stupid. What is consomme? Con like a, a clear, beautiful, perfect broth. Uh, okay. Like a crystal clear broth, very driven. Like it's a. There's multiple steps to make it that way. Is you it have hard to, to it, make it? It's very difficult. Yeah. It's very like technique driven. Yeah. And so I, I rarely do things that are like actually technique driven. It's right. more just like fucking make, mash it up and cook it. Yeah. Shit. And uh, and I wear a tuxedo, <laughs> like I have a, a real, and I ruin my tuxedo. <laughs> I have one tuxedo, <laughs> and I like ruin. I rip it apart. I just I'm like a. Gr I get so mad, and it's the first time ever. Yeah. Where I thought I would quit. Like I I'm in quit my own show. home. Well, I just I was just like, I don't know how we can get back from here. Right. Like I've ruined this thing. Right. I fucked up. And it's not like we have like a, a test site that has like switch outs. We don't have like a full culinary team. It's your house. I have Michelle, right. who is Michelle. We've seen what Michelle does. <laughs> she plays chess. Like she's on, we're shooting and she's like playing chess. I'm like, nothing else. She's yeah, got something good to do. There. She's yeah. got something to do. Yeah, she's texting Billy Zane. But the greatest thing from this season is Billy Zane is now my buddy. The Which, internet. Really, though? Because we're, we're like, we... We're, Real friends. We, he like DM'd you text. me. He, he, he hit, sent me a happy... He's like, my dad's birthday is the same day as yours. Happy birthday, big guy. That's sweet. And he like texted, and I was just like, busy. What is Billy Zane like as a human? <sighs> I, think he, I think he thinks he's Billy Zane. He knows he's, he's Billy, Billy Zane. He knows he's Billy Zane. He right. breathes... He wakes up in the morning, and he's like... I'm fucking Billy Zane today. <laughs> I think he's that guy, honestly. Yeah. And then he's like, I'm going to go make some art. See, that's cool. That's he's going to go make some art. But you know? it's not, but he doesn't seem like a pretentious, uh, annoying no. dude. No. Like he seems like he's figured it out. I think I know where he lives. I don't think he knows where I we'll live. We'll put the address right down here below. Right We're, here. This yeah, is the address right here. And I think I want to, like, I want to surprise him. What do you want to do? What would you bring him? How do you surprise Billy Zane? What do you bring the guy? I don't know. I didn't think of bringing him. Like you have to when you surprise, you have to bring a gift. It's weird to just show up with your body. Just show up with a... just you showing up. Like Billy Zane, he's gonna be like, "What are you doing Billy? in my fucking house?" Let's get a cop. Let's go to the uh, blue bottle. He's gonna be like, "Text me next time. Don't do this." Yeah, don't do that. And he just like he closes. He's but just if you like, show up with something, yeah, it gives you some room. I need to think about. Well, that. let's think about a gift right now. What's a good like a gift nice for pair Billy of Zane? Like Japanese wool socks, a top hat. He lives in L.A., right? Yeah, I think he lives close to where I stay. You don't, you don't, push, Japanese wool socks aren't going to work in LA. No. Top hat is going gonna, is gonna to be a no. A, like a walking cane? A shawl? A walking cane is kind of cool if it means something to you. Mm. Give him like my great grandfather's like Irish walking stick. Why would you do that? That's something personal to your family. Don't give him Billy something. Billy Zane that he, deserves it. Give it to him. That's right. Yeah. Give him the ashes of someone that you, that you, that you really loved in your the family. The ashes. Yeah, give him the ashes of your family. Be like, Billy, I just What's wanted to give Bobby this to you. What's up with Bobby and his dad's ashes? He's obsessed. I couldn't stop laughing. It's at the ashes. It's, it's it's crazy. And I think I laughed too much. <laughs> I think I laughed too much. Because even like Gilbert was looking at me, and he was just like, "Well, here's the problem. Do you have any that you have anybody that's been cremated that you love that's close to you? Yeah. You spread it. I think we sent it back to she. My great my grandmother. She passed away in Ontario, and then my grandfather passed away in New Brunswick, and we brought her back it with ashes. To, but did you there, spread them buried, together? We buried it next to uh, to uh, Grampy. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't, we spread my grandfather's ashes in Chicago? places that he wanted to be spread. Yeah, all over. Like everyone got Wrigley some. Wrigley Field. Well, that would have been nice. We didn't do that. Wow. No. That would have been nice. By the lake, I think he wanted, yeah. you know, a few golf courses, a few things. But I never understood keeping ashes. When people keep the ashes, I'm like, what, what, what why? I don't, why? no, 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 don't. That, what if you spill them? They get, apparently it Vacuum. happens all the time. Vacuum. I read an internet story about a dog that like knocked over the urn and then ate the ashes. Ate the ashes. And so now the dog is somebody's grandmother. Oh. But it's trans it's translucent or whatever that is. You We've know? talked about Omar, two tones dog. Yeah. Very it's like thirty yeah. percent capacity right now. Yeah. It's very low. How old? Like thirteen, fourteen. It's so sad. When dogs crest a decade, you're like, ooh, it's on the way down. Yeah, she's she's like old, smelly, cysty, got a lot of cysties. Cysty dogs. Cysty. It's cysty. I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't cysty. Even, it's, it's, cysty. It's cysty. Come here, cysty. It looked like it was like there was like um, it looked like a when you pinch your t like one testicle you like when you squeeze it yeah you squeeze it yeah it, looked, it was like it was it was kind of close to me and I didn't know and two tone just kind of moved her hair a little bit to like present it to me uh, and I was just like Ugh. Uh, like it's one of those things where I was just like Ugh. do you not pet do you not pet his dog 
not. I try not to. Isn't that so it's, sad? You, you'd, because it's it, it always smells like the wet dog. Oh, that, it's so yeah. sad when you don't want to pet a dog. Because I love dogs, but if someone's dog is old or I'll gross tap, and maybe, sad, like a tap. Good dog. Good. Good dog. You but, don't have a pup. No, I got three children. Yeah, but just give them a dog to have. No, because then I'm, uh, no. You live in Canada with land. You can have I it be have an outside dog. I own lots of But land. then it could be an outside dog. But then the coyotes. A lot of coyotes. And make it a, make a tall fence. You make a tall fence, then I'm spending money on a thing. You have a lot of money. We talked about it the whole I show. I know, but still buying a fence is like, to make a nice pen, that's like 20K. How, do you, don't you know, is there young teenagers in the neighborhood? Pay them kids to do it. That'll be, it won't be plum. That'll be funny though. I need a plum. You want perfect? I need a per I would it's on the property. I got busted painting my neighbor's fence and smoking weed. His mom snitched. <laughs> I never forget it. I would I never forget it, dude. How old? We're How painting old? Like 16. 16 yeah. Painting the fence high as fuck high as fuck. Yeah. Painting a white one fence. One spot, one spot for like too long. <laughs> the and they're just watching it. Yeah, he's like it's bright white, it's resonant. <laughs> yeah. It was a horse, it was a horse fence. It was yeah. a it was a your it was footprints a, are there, it's dripping. <laughs> yeah, it's just the grass is Looks dead. Like you barfed everywhere <laughs> over your feet. <laughs> We were painting this fence, getting high as fuck. Yeah. It's baked out of our head. And all we had to do was paint, mm. let's see, probably, it was probably a quarter acre of fence. And, and they paid us to do it. That's a fence. Summertime job, my dude. So it's sweaty, just, but it, sweaty. But You've it's got just big a, shoulders, too. Uh, look dad, nice. Daddy, look nice. daddy boy. Yeah. But it's just, like a, it was just like a white fence. We had no, mm. like no skill was needed. Because if you ever see those horse fences, mm. they just need to be whitened up because they're going to get filthy as fuck anyway. Yeah. So we just were whitening this thing up. Mm. And... Uh, his mom came home from like a, I don't from an event. They were supposed to be gone like until mm. the, nighttime. Mr. Santino, busted, busted, Mr. high Santino. as fuck, and and high as fuck. And I also had you're that. Just, you're just like I had like I had uh, a bag. I had the pipe. Oh. I had papers. I had blunts. I had like blunts. <laughs> they caught everything. <laughs> you had a full. Uh, you can't bag. get away. It's right there. That's what am I? There. What do you say? It's, this is what was this? And that's like thirty years ago. It was a long time ago. Not 30. I'm not that I know, old. I know. It was, what is that? That's what are you, you 20, were 70s? 20, 78? When were you born? God, you know, 72. you're such a dick, dude. I'm, bo I'm 37 years old. I'm born oh, in 83. You're, I'm a year older than you. <laughs> you look way older than me. Well, I'm, I'm tarnished. Okay, but don't make it like I'm, I'm like Mr. Old Man. I lived man. hard. No, I thought you were old. You look older. You're right. You look older. No, no, no. I carry myself better. You carry yourself better, but you look older. Because if you carried yourself a little, like, 5% less, you'd look really old. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how old are you? You're, you're... I'm 39. I just turned 39, Feb 7. I know. I missed your birthday on purpose. You did it. Yeah, thank I you. I did it on purpose. I, but, hey, you know man, why? It's a power play. I don't, it's a power like, play. I don't like happy birthday text. No. Because it's a million of them. They come in and Dude, you're like... I, don't, I didn't even look. I turned my phone on airplane mode on my birthday... And I turned it on, and it was just like, people were trying to FaceTime me. People were trying to like... I'll hit you tomorrow. Yeah. Or, uh, I'm an adult. It, we're good. Happy birthday. I, I get I'm it. good. We're good. I'm good. You know what? It, it, it means the mm. most from your family. I guess from my family, I really yeah. want it. But from friends and homies, yeah, it's all good if you... Do. I, I, if my mom, dad, sister mm. don't say happy birthday or we don't yeah. do something, mm. I'm actually upset. Yeah. Family... For sure. Like, mm. did your kids make you like a cute little gift? I woke up to my kids singing me with, they had a megaphone. Nice. And I woke up to my, my daughter, like literally a two-year-old, cutest little baby. She's singing happy birthday to me, Dada. It was beautiful. It was honestly beautiful. We went downstairs and we made like bacon and eggs and had a whole thing. See, that makes me smile. It was beautiful. Like, I'm like the most domesticated person ever. You like, are. Tr You're a housewife. I it, truly like you Trisha, are a housewife. I'm like a kept man when I go home. Cause she she is a working forward progressive, like independent woman, and you're a, and you're a little cute housewife from the fifties. Yeah, you stay at home and you're a sweetheart. I put on a, like a little dress a little and I kind of dust. I dust things. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> Those bullshit yeah, little dusters. Like, you're a little French maid. Yeah. Imagine if Trish came home like and you were a in a French tail. maid's outfit. I just got like a butt plug horse tail in. <laughs> Uh, and she walks in, I'm like, uh, I prefer <laughs> <laughs> like a horse mask. She's like, what are you doing? Have you ever I'm had like, a butt plug in your butt? I've had lots of stuff in my ass. Have you ever had a butt plug? I've had lots of stuff in my ass. I've never done a butt plug, but I've I have never, a buddy that I swears by it. College, lots of cocaine, fuck me up. You know? See, that's Bobby's thing too, is that he when he was on drugs, he would try anything sexual. Anything. Why not? See, I'm glad I didn't get into heavy drugs. It changes you. It changed you. <laughs> <laughs> What drug hurt? What Green drug changed Street. you the most? Um, what was the what was the drug that you would be the most vulnerable on? Like you would do dumb shit on the most. Like it wouldn't be that. It would be about the amount of time I was on drugs. So like right. past it, like you know when you get into the forty eight hours of just staying high for like multiple days. That's coke. 
cocaine, MDMA, fucking me- stuff, F. Molly? Yeah. Molly. You don't seem Matt, like a Molly anything. guy. I'd do anything. But at the point, at, at a certain point, it's, it's like I would, you know, I would get wasted first. Yeah. Like at my pinnacle. At this my, was always the first step. First step. And I would drink pint glasses. I would get a pint glass filled with ice, fill it with vodka, three lime wedges. Yeah, you told me I drink, that. Yeah. At the kitchen. You do that at work. That, that's where we would get like, that's where I get good. I drink like six or seven of those. Jesus. Then I'm like, Ugh. And then, <sighs> yeah. And then yeah. I'm like, get a fucking couple reefs in there, a couple bombskis. <laughs> then I do a couple whiskeys, <laughs> and then I'll and then I'll transition into beers. And then I would just do anything. Oh, I got a couple of pills. Okay, pills. Oh, let's do more bumps. Okay. Then you go to a weird house party and you eat some acid. And then you forgot you eat acid and someone else offers you shrooms. And then you're like, okay. And then it's like the next day at 11 a.m. And you're like, all I got is crack. And you're like, okay. And you'll smoke it. And we're like, like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time ago. In here, we pour whiskey. What are you putting in your body? Is it good? Is it bad? I don't really need to know. It's your business. Uh, But I am highly recommending Ritual. If you've never tried it, you must. It's clean, vegan-friendly multivitamin. It's formulated with high-quality nutrients. um, And uh, it's delicious and good for you. You're not going to find sugars, GMO, any of that stuff. We deserve to know what's going on in our bodies that we're putting in there. Um, The fresh taste and the uh, delayed-release capsule design make taking your vitamins easy. If you're not taking your vitamins... You should take something. If you can't supplement it with re- taking regular vitamins, uh, Ritual is incredible. Um, I really did like it. They sent it to my doorstep. I tried it out. Um, a lot of times these vitamins don't contain any like key nutrients that you need in your body. Um, and, and this stuff has no shady extras, no like nasty stuff that you don't know that's just thrown in there uh, for no reason. Kind of like when the government does a budget and they're like, oh, we just threw in some other stuff. You're like, what? what? That has nothing to do with what this is about. They don't do that. It's available for uh, women, men, teens, all kinds of human beings. If you're of the human being species, I think this is good for you. The vitamins are delivered right to your door every month. Free shipping always. Um, You can start it. You can stop it. You can snooze it. Put it on pause. Uh, But it's really good. It's uh, it's a delayed response capsule design delivers high quality nutrients, including vitamin D3 and just two daily pills. Really, really good for you. Makes me feel very good, especially post run, because you know I like to be running. Uh, but get the key nutrients without the BS. Ritual is offering my listeners here 10% off during your first three months. Visit ritual.com slash whiskey to start your ritual today. 10% off. Pretty good. Get some vi- vitamins in your body. Visit ritual.com slash whiskey to start it today. You got money problems? A lot of people are in debt. Hey. A lot of people are in debt. Uh, Scary times. It's been tough the last couple of years, and a lot of people have found themselves in immense credit card debt, financial upside-downness. I understand where you're coming from. I've been there myself many, 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 unfortunately too many times. Um, And Upstart is here to help. Uh, Upstart is uh, an incredible process that's going to help you consolidate, get that stuff gone, wiped out, with uh, one monthly payment in one place. You've heard of this kind of stuff before, um, but I'm telling you, Upstart works. I trust and believe in these peeps. They've done uh, they've done a really good job. It's a fast and easy way to get personal loan to pay off all your debt, all online. You don't have to walk into some weird stuffy bank and wear a suit uh, with some old balding dude that's just like, I don't know if you're worth it. Uh, you do it online. Uh, they find smarter rates with trusted partners uh, because they can access you know, so many with just your credit score. Five-minute online rate check. You can see your rate upfront loans from $1,000 to $50,000. $1,000 to $50,000, dude, um, which is really good. If you're in more than $50,000 debt, uh-huh, I don't know how to help, unfortunately. That's going to be a little bit tough, but that's a pretty good range. Um, if you're in a little bit of financial trouble, find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments when you go to upstart.com slash whiskey. That's upstart.com slash whiskey. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts are going to be determined based on your credit income and certain other information provided in your loan application. Upstart.com slash whiskey. Ginger. I like gingers. But, but, but no. It, it, but was there ever a drug that you said no to? I, I never injected heroin. But did you smoke it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But but injecting is like injecting is just like it's just wasn't for me. It's dirty. I, I no no it's not even dirty. It's just it's, it wasn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was my line. That was like my weird far but back what is that? line. Beca- that, because of the social. Uh, <clears throat> people, I just think that I just know like, I knew that I'd I'd like it. 
too much. Injecting. Everything else. Well, I was just, I just know that there's no, once you do that. There's I no think, going back. There's no, no real going back. And it's just like, I was a party boy. Yeah. I didn't really like, I didn't like getting into oxys. I don't like opiates. I don't like that kind of stuff. Yeah. I like, I like rage fucking like, let's, I'm like, an, I'm like, you know, you know, I, I want to put my head through a wall. Yeah. And I want to put my head through a wall. You don't like downers. No, I wanna, you want to. You want through the roof. I want to like break your toilet. Do I want to like break your fucking toilet and like <laughs> fucking smash your window and then like fuck how much it. how much uh, financial damage do you think you incurred over the time that you were using drugs? Like how many like people? In my own restaurant did you, and anywhere did you break I've, just shit all the time? Yeah, you loved breaking. I remember shit. on my birthday at Parts and Labor, like what ten years ago. What is that? What's Parts and Parts and Labor, Labor was one one of my restaurants. Oh 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 right right right. And um. It was a lively restaurant. It was a big, like, old warehouse that we turned into this fucking sick restaurant. And I was, like, you know, 28. Damn. And I remember it was my birthday weekend, and I used to throw Maddie Fest. So Maddie Fest was, like, my birthday weekend at Parts of Labor. I would have bands. We had a, a basement bar where they, we would do, like, comedy shows sometimes. Yeah. About 200 cap room downstairs in the basement. We'd do punk bands and DJs and all that kind of, like, Diplo would play. Like, it was crazy. Like, it was a vibe. Yeah. And on, I remember I, I set up a band to play on my birthday, and I fucking ruined the entire PA. I ruined the entire light setup. Just being just took being. the mic stand and was just re pulling down the ceiling. <laughs> People were like the like everyone was trying to stop me, and it was because everyone was throwing beer at me. Like it was like it was an incredible moment. But for, you'll remember it for the rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, it caused like twenty thousand dollars in damages to your like, own spot. To my our, our own spot. But I was just like, and the party. When alone. we had like the meeting, like our our manager's owner owners meeting, like the next week, everyone's like, "So Maddie's fest. We're not gonna just do that anymore." Okay, You're like, once a year, bro. Once, once a, a year. year. Once a year. That's like Eric Andre rents out a warehouse downtown for his birthday. Yeah, and does like a big. He mm. he. The best thing that he ever did was he got stuff that he got stuff that like you got same mm. thing. But he likes to take it one notch. He's got money behind him. No, no, but like it's also a, like naked well, it's a production. Oil wrestling. And well, then, he like, he things. also he pays he pays like unsightly models to come in to come naked. Yeah. So there's always a guy there with like a like a two foot dick. I'm not yeah. kidding. There <sighs> there was a guy there last year with. Just... Let's be real. If I'm being genuine, it's got to be 13 inches, 13 or 14 Beautiful. inches. Beautiful. And he Soft. walks around like that. Naked women in their 70s plus. Yeah. He loves older naked women. Yeah. And then he likes really short guys mm. with small penises, and so he it's so perfect. So, so these people are like part of the circus. Yeah, and honestly, it's, it's the best. Party. It's the best party I've ever been to in my entire life. And he'll have like crazy cameo people come to play music. Yeah. So it also becomes kind of a concert where you're like, it's a massive party. It's a con yeah, it's a, a concert party. and a party. That's a fucking party. I don't know. I can't. I can't get to that place. But if like for me, it'd be and something. You're just sitting like, there giggling, watching. Oh, I was. I was. Involved. Loving. I loved it. I, lo love I, I love. Are you a voyeur? Are you like a party boy? No, I like to watch. You like to watch. It's funny because when I was young, dude, I loved to party mm. like a lot. Yeah. But now I like to stand back and watch people doing it. And you're like, well, that guy's about to fall. I love. I'm obsessed. Sitting with back and just watching something fall apart. Like I, I like to go to Venice Beach sometimes back <laughs> in the day and watch people skateboard because I wanted to see someone fall. Yeah. Like I love people watching bad. someone hit a ramp and I'm like, dude, please break something. Dude. I want to be. I want to watch the. I want to watch the chaos mm. happen. I don't want to be in it anymore. No. When I was young, I was like, you wanted to be college. There. I wanted to be in all the shit. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get in trouble. I want to break it. I want to steal it. I want to fuck. Yeah. We put a, um, we put a. What's pool the worst thing you ever did? Like the like the like crime wise. Like 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 you and your homies. Like my one time we were having this party. My friend stole a golf cart, ruined a fucking golf course. I've been in a, I've been like, in a stolen vehicle before, which I think was stolen, really fucked yeah. up. Like I don't think that was a cool thing, and we crashed mm -hmm. it. Oh. Uh, <sighs> I had friends die that way. Well, we weren't... Okay, so check this out. <laughs> <laughs> I got Good into story. a car that Triggered. I didn't know was stolen. Mm. I had assumed it was... Steve a shows up. <laughs> hey, get in, Andy! <laughs> we were... Not, we were... <laughs> look, know. man. I don't need to judge his car! Bro. And he's like... I fucking stole this. Get it. We were with a bunch of different people at a mm. party, getting in trouble, doing bad stuff, mm. and it, there was a they in were, Chicago. They were doing donuts. No, mm. they were doing donuts mm. in this car, and I thought that was fun. So the I, worst thing you've done is donuts in a car. I get in the stolen vehicle. <laughs> I get in the stolen yeah. vehicle, mm. and they're doing donuts, and we crash it, and I'm concerned. Mm. 
And then the guy's like, fuck it. Let's and walk I don't know this guy. And yeah. I was like, what do you mean, fuck it, dude? And he's like, it's not even my shit, dude. And I was like, well, <laughs> fuck you. now I'm a criminal. Yeah. Now I'm like a baiting in a stolen car, mm. hit and run. The guy whose car it was mm. is dead. Yeah. So whatever. That's, that's what happens. <laughs> That's a butterfly effect. <laughs> that's a butterfly. That's the. Effect. I don't. That's what's what the? But I don't know the that's worst. I've never like. I've never like. Mm. That's prop being in a stolen car that we crashed. I felt bad about. But my shit was always minuscule. We would go to parties and we would steal shit. That yeah. I. I was obsessed. Yeah. I loved going, going to, to house somebody's house party. That's like stealing. blown out. I love mm. stealing house party stuff. Yeah. It's just fun. My buddy stole a pool ball yeah. off of a house par- at a house party table mm. just because these guys try to get into a fight with chaos. one of these guys. That's no, chaos. We, just, we like stealing a ball. One ball. One How, ball. You can't play What a nightmare. Properly. Yeah, uh, what a fucking nightmare. You got psychopaths. You stole eh? it, and then we had a three-man slingshot. Yeah. And then on he campus, we shot, we shot the ball. Where'd you go to university? Arizona State. Arizona. Troublesome. Yeah. Like a big, like what a nasty party. Mm. It was not. Is that, isn't that, that's in. Tempe. Tempe. Phoenix. Okay, Phoenix. The Suns. Barkley. Yeah, they're there. Barkley? Not there anymore. Not there. Not for years. Charles. Him or Nash. Chuck. It's one of the most fun schools. I, we, it was so fun. Like, what'd you do in college? Com? Did you go to school for comedy? No. No. Journalism and English. That, no, in English. English. You're Something. smart. No, You're no. Smart. No, no, no. You I could write a, a, you could write a like a sentence. So what you don't know as a Canadian is I went to Arizona State. When you say I'm smart, people in here know wrong. No, it's a state school. It's not it's a good a state, school. Oh, okay. Not only is it a state school, it's like at one time was the lowest of the rung. Yes. It was like uh, what's the jokiest university or or yeah a university in Canada. The one where everyone's like, oh, what did you go to fucking Mohawk? Would you go to Mohawk? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of, and in but Hamilton, it's still but it's no, a school. Mohawk. I used to party there a lot. It's a school, but you're like, what is it, Mohawk? It's Mohawk yeah, it's yeah. like you're go- oh, you're going to like it's like you failed high school and you got to go there. <laughs> that's yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, I was a m- average student in high school, and then that was a way to get to the West Coast. So I was like, I'll just go there because I just wanted to get warm. I just couldn't afford California. Yeah. Arizona. Yeah, you know how cheap it was there. It was insane. One, one. And you went. To, you went to college in like the eighties. <laughs> but no. Okay. We're the same age, you dildo. Okay. I'm older than you. Yeah, you're older than okay. me by a year. You so wiener 2000, head. So 2001, 2002, you went to college. In the early 2000s, I went to college. Yeah. Great time in life. Honestly, it early was. Early 2000s was post 9/11 was dope. Bro. Security true to roof. Mm, let's go. And you don't know where you were on 9-11 because it didn't affect Canadians. I exactly know the moment. Where were you? <sighs> in college, in my dorm, first year, first week. University. You, I went to college. You did go to college? Yeah, cooking school. Oh, right, that's different. Humber. Eh, it's, a tr- it's like a trade school. It's a, tri- tra- it's a trade school. It's given me a lot of success. It's fine. Okay. And I was there. <laughs> where were you on 9-11? This <laughs> It was silent. I woke up. It was quiet. There was nobody there. Were you cooking? No, I was waking up from being hungover, doing lots of drugs, yeah. probably getting plowed in the ass. Yeah. And uh, and I got onto my floor and there was nobody. And every and I went down to the cafeteria, and it was full. I was like, "What's happening? Is there free chocolate milk? Like, what is going on? You know?" I was like, "This is nice." Yeah. And uh, and then the second plane hit. Damn. And I was like, "What's happening?" Did Canadians care for real? I think it was a lot of people. I think it shook uh, us. I it think felt it, it had different. Reper- we were like, "Oh, we need now. We need passports to go to America." Because before, we just need driver's licenses. I remember, you, you I remember just, when you could just cross the border. Yeah, you could just cross the border. But I think it, it felt like I think North America felt it like in a, uh, um, you know, like I was just like, and I, yeah, it, it's tough to say like things, but I'm just like, dude, America blows up fucking countries all the time. Yeah, and then you take down two buildings, and it's like it's very sad. It's horrible. It's horrible. yeah, but it's like it's a crazy. It, it is like a I we're know. bomb happy, dude. Yeah, you we, guys love killing everything. We kill everything. Every, you guys love killing everything. But that's why you guys are buddies with us. Yeah, because you protect. We're up north. And we're like, oh shucks, thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that's why yep. we have guns because you because t- you we, can't we have can't, them. No, we got all of them. Got guns. dog sleds. You do have dog we sleds. We have dog sleds. My and dad a- grew up riding dog sleds. Shut up. He grew up in Yellowknife. Google. Oh, I know where Yellowknife is. Google. Yeah, he that's grew up- super far north, dude. He, my dad, my grandfather was a Mountie, and so Mountie is a Canadian cop on a horse. Yeah, <laughs> big funny pants. They look so weird. They don't have guns. Hard right? ass dudes. What do they no, have? They got, they got pistols. They got pistols. Like a twenty-two. Yeah, they got like a fucking. It's like a BB gun. Yeah. It it would hit you and you'd be like, "Ow, Mountie!" Stop it. 
He'd go, cut it out, he eh? You say Natushpa. Stop running. Natushpa. Natushpa? Natushpa. What's that mean? Don't touch. French. Ah, Natushpa. Natushpa. When you get that, shot? That's what my mom would say to me. Like, Natushpa. And you'd be like, ah. Did your mom speak French in front of you? She's like, uh, my grandma was Acadian. Oh. So she's like real small French. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. I don't like that. Yeah, yeah, she's Acadian. Real Acadians. Like the people that went from like Louisiana were the ones that stayed fucking back. Yeah, you're, you're, you're the... Um, um, North Americans, the fancy faux French. You're fancy faux French. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like all like the- My grandmother never wore pants. Right. Full dress Dresses. every day. Right. Because her dad, see, I come from like a full, like my mom's father, Grampy, fucking- he, R.I.P. Dude, he, he was chief of police for like 20 years. For what? For what? For- Fredericton. For Fredericton. It's in New Brunswick. Okay. And uh, military, or not, he was a military, he, he, he served in Korea- did he really? Yeah, he served in Korea. Same. My grandpa same. Yeah. Yeah, same. That's why Bobby has a little bit of resentment towards me. He knows my As history. he should. Yeah. As he should. Oh, we won. <laughs> <laughs> we, we won, dude. You're like, That's why you're still here, pal. So what, we, Grampy? Chief of police. Chief of police. I don't know where I'm even getting at. So we're Acadian, and I just said French stuff. No, you said something about... What, what was it about Grampy being the chief of police? 20 years badass? He was a badass. He was great. He's the chief of police. He's the best. Do you have that in your blood? I got it in my blood. I'm hard body. That's what I'm saying. I'm Canadian. I'm very my my fam my my grandmother's family came from Normandy in 1637 to Lockport, Nova Scotia. My family and it's crazy. Before she passed away, and I never even saw this. She had this ins like insanely documented family tree book that I never saw. Your grandmother, my grandmother, that she made with her sisters and all this right. stuff, and I never saw it ever before. And she lived her last uh, like a, the last year at my parents' house. And um, way better than in a home. Yeah, that was the thing. She didn't want to go to a home. Grampy passed. Yeah, that's, a, that's the same thing with my family. And, and, and my parents, my parents, my family's sweet. You know, so they were just like, "Come on in." Yeah, let's go. You're not going anywhere. Because the home thing yeah. is the home thing's sad, rough, and it's dude. just like, and it. it some people know, have to, dude. Some but, people have but to. But it is a bummer, dude. When I see it, I'm always like, "That's the cre it's." It looks like a sad movie whenever mm. I pass one. It is a sad movie. It's like their life is you're, this, you're, this you're, loop. You're there to die and to maintain maintain the slow death. See, I'd rather just be on the real world dying quicker. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather get, die I'd get quicker. A tent, go on a trip. You'd be done in like, get a bear. Like, go hiking. Go, go get a bear. You turn Leave like raw 80, steaks around your tent. Just go hiking. You're done. Yeah. yeah. Go, go, go yeah. free solo, Al Cap. Oh, let's just go. go free climb. Yeah. When I'm old, I'll just start free climbing. You'd go three feet up, fall down, die. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You'd be like, let's go. Imagine that article. They're like, 89-year-old Matty Matheson was free soling Al Cap. They're like, holy shit. It's like, yeah. he made it six inches off the ground before slipping, <laughs> cracking both hips, and dying. Yeah. His, his hips broke in, hit his spleen. You want to die indoors or outdoors? I don't know. Because that makes me think, would it be cool to die in nature, or do you want to be dying? You want to die in your own no, home? No, Matt, dude, just turn to moss. Just out in the woods. Uh, what is it called? Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh... Um, Into the Wild? No, no. I can't remember the actor. I've talked about it before, but it fascinates me. Mm. He got wrapped in one of those forever suits. Do you know what those are? A forever suit? So no. it, ra it wraps you in this biodegradable material that basically binds to your skin wow. and makes you decompose into the soil, and Ooh. it's nutrients. So it, 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 it takes out all these toxins. Right. And then it decomposes into the soil, so it's like a... Uh, um, like a it's good. Oh, well, no, you're fertilizer for nature. Perfect. But what it, what but it does... But an actor did that? Yeah, famous actor, but and he, and he died of and, and he was cancer. just he was a famous TV guy that died not too long ago. Al Croker. No, keep going. Dennis Rodman. No, he's alive. Go. Okay. Uh, famous TV guy. Ralph um, uh, Regis. No, go. Uh, um, come on, man. I don't watch TV. Uh, Kirk Cameron. Kirk no. Cameron. <laughs> Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. No, he's Dick, alive. He's alive. Is he dead? I think he's. I've played this game before. Of is they, are they alive or dead? And I have no idea. Dick Cheney for sure is alive. You uh, say that. Is he dead? I don't know. In the comments, just let us know if Dick Cheney's alive. I think he's a good, <laughs> I don't Dick know. Dick Cheney was a good guy, right? I want to look it up, but he should I not? Guy. I don't know. I have no idea. I know nothing about him. I like that movie, Dick. When people talk politics about like who they... like, You know how people pretend they really know about politicians? <laughs> You're like, you don't fucking know any. You don't know shit. You just read something on Twitter one time. Ted Cruz going to the fucking Cancun. Cancun. Let's go. How cool is that, dude? He's like, get down there, Cruzy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, snow. See ya. Peace. Yeah. Rush, Rush Limbaugh Later. died. Rush. He, Rush died. I don't know Rush. 
Not a good guy, probably. You know what's so funny is like he, 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 he did the pills. He definitely he's one of those guys. He's a billion. I would love to see what his weekends look like. Oh, dude, how right? about how about partying with that guy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, the he internet. Gets the hotel. The internet caught on fire and was like, "Rest in piss." Yeah. Um, which is a funny. That's just a funny slang. Yeah. Uh, I don't know enough about Rush Limbaugh to know if I hate I him or just like don't him. Care. Yeah, I couldn't care less. <laughs> like but I that. do think that guy would be fun to party with. Dude, I. I'm gonna get roasted for saying this. Uh, There's, imagine watching like the Super Bowl with like the Bush family. Oh, dude, so you know, fun. imagine watching. What the, do you mean? How fun would that be? How great would that be? Yeah, that's like I was just like imagine like just like <laughs> the most psychopathic Republican, <laughs> fair, like just like controlling. Like, They're not as created bad. the CIA. That's not as bad as like the the Trumpies. The Trumpies. Baron. Yeah. They're just out there, and Baron's pissing on everybody. Baron's like, can I clip your toenails? Yeah. You're like, what? Excuse me. He's like, no, no, no. I just need some of your earwax. <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah, imagine though. Imagine though. Honestly, imagine like the guys that get into that family, right? Like the, the kid, the young guy that dates uh, the youngest daughter or whatever. Mm. I wonder that you're weighing out these scales of pro and cons between getting in that family. It's like what, what is it that you're willing to sacrifice? Everything to be a part of that family. Everything, because once you're in there, it's over, dude. Because I think if you kiss the ring, if you like truly, like if you give your blood, you know, if you do your blood pack into that, and then you're just like. We're snapping, like, once a month, we get to kill a baby. Like, you're in. You know, once a month. I think it's more We frequent. get to snap a spine, like, a weekly spine snap. And they drink it, right? Isn't yeah, that what they do? Yeah, and then they drink it. <laughs> and then they're like, you know, our man Epstein, he, he slipped. Epdog. Epdog slipped. Epdog. Epdog slipped. We don't slip. And you went on a cocaine uh, cruise with Ghislaine a couple of years ago. You guys were partying we, in, in yeah. St. Bart's, or, or was it French? It was she French was Polynesia. There. She was. Yeah, it was like Paul McCartney, her. <laughs> The Beatle, bro? Dude, the Beatle. We, I was at this, <laughs> Prince played this party. Yeah. And it was really. It Rest was, in peace, dude. Rest in peace. Purple Rain. Dude, he played for four fucking hours. I've, the, heard, I've heard he is like, he was the best showman alive. He he played. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. He died. He died shortly after that. It's pretty wild. And. Um, pills, by the way. Don't do pills. That's don't do fact. Pills. Don't do pills. Don't, yeah. Don't. Yeah. Just don't do drugs. But the fucking. Just, Listen to me. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> don't do drugs. I built my career on it. Yeah, don't. that's. It's like when I the, still talk about it eight years later. It's like when the Beatles. That's uh, all I have. It's really. like the Beatles, like Paul McCartney doing like a anti-drug campaign. You're like, yeah. what? What? You're Excuse me. You made an album about about acid. You made yeah. a whole album Sergeant about Peppers. acid. Yeah. Like, what Pep the Peps. fuck are you talking about? Yeah. You fucking walrus. Don't do drugs. I made my entire danced, living on but it. But Paul, Paul danced the entire time. Trisha was like eight months pregnant, and they what, were like, whose dancing. birthday was this? It was it, w- it was New Year's. And where was this at? Somewhere exclusive. It was at this little bar on the beach in St. Bart's. And Prince was there? Everybody was there. It was the wildest thing I ever saw. Did you have to cash an invite to that or no? I, I tagged along. You with we, someone we were famous, staying with someone very famous. We were staying with some people. And well, we had a house on their land. You don't want to tell me who it was. No. It was someone remarkably famous. It was no, no, it was somebody remarkably rich. Rich. Yeah. It was that's, somebody that's the deal. It was somebody remarkably rich. You're allowed to rub shoulders with the famous and the talented. There was like if you're three houses rich. on the top of a mountain in St. Bart. It was like I think it was like ninety K a week. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. For, For the, a, just to rent a house? It was three like it was Oh, it was villas. Man, yeah. Uh it was three villas. Ninety grand a week. Yeah, it was wild. And then me and Trish had our own villa. That you didn't for two pay weeks. for. No. It was a gift. Dude. Thank you. I all I had to do. Tweet about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. He's like, if you make one TikTok, we're even. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> and the fucking <laughs> <laughs> and the fucking and all, no, all I had to do, yeah, New Year's Day, I had to make fucking a hundred cheeseburgers. Oh, they they were like, that's it. You have to cook one time, and that's it. Yeah, and everybody, it was, and and the thing was, because people like a play, right? But you, I got this person to do this. I got this, right. so I made a hundred burgers. And I gave them, and it, I made it out of Wagyu. It was crazy. Wait, wait, like Japanese Wagyu or American Wagyu? Japanese Wagyu. That's in St. Bart's. It was like five thousand dollars uh, worth of beef. Yeah, I was just gonna say. It was. It, it was honestly like, like we bought all the beef there. We got a special order, and you ground and then we it. Gra- when we we ground it, and yeah. the butcher in St. It's a small place. And he was just like, I don't know if I can do. He's Friday. I don't know if I can do this. This, this is, is very, uh, violating yeah. uh, the like, pact of not, the cow. I was like, grind it. I'm here for you. You need to grind that right now because I need to get it up to this fucking place. And he was just like, I don't. And I was like, grind it. So you made a hundred Wagyu cheese. And it was just like you know, like Rick Rubin's people, like everybody's. Was Rick there? I was. I I was at this. Other, yeah, the craziest party. That whole thing was like the, my biggest insight into fame and wealth. Wealth yeah. and the 
Illuminati. You know, like just like the whole thing of it. Did you have to sign NDA or anything like that? No, or no? I, it was very, it was very chill. There was like a lot of security on the outside of things. Yeah, but once you're in, it was it, it very. Once normal. you're in, you're in. The guy filling up like Leo's vape juice. You know, like watching, <laughs> watching that, watching, the, telling, telling Leo he was good in Gilbert Grapes. He has a he has a vape guy, a he, guy who there's like a vape his... guy. It was incredible. It's like his buddy that he's always with. Maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah, got yeah, a buddy yeah. he's yes, always yes, with. Yes, that guy. I've I watched seen this guy fill up the juice, and I was just like, imagine if he gets the juice wrong, and Leo's like, "What the fuck is this shit?" He's like, "Is that raspberry? I wanted strawberry. It's fucking marmalade, bitch." Yeah, marmalade. I wanted vanilla mocha. Wait, time out, real fast before we can do because I want to hear the other party. Tell me this because I need to know this for my own peace yeah. and sanity. Japanese Wagyu yeah. is not the same as American Wagyu. No. Okay, because there's lying places in America that go, we have Wagyu, and you're like, no. no, it's not. If you don't see, if they don't present... They're like, it's A5 or all that, whatever yeah, the... If they you're don't like, no, present it's not. a certificate and have it bring out a full fucking piece, like present it, I and don't buy it. Right, so what I say is, or what I've heard is, there are... Wagyu's a breed. Right, it's a and, breed. It's and a breed. we have American Wagyu cows. I have Canadian Wagyu. Right. But you can't, you're not supposed have to call A5. it. certified A5. Canadian Wagyu. Because it's, they, they bred the cows here and they took them to America. Yeah. But technically, the only real Wagyu that makes it to America from Japan, it's only like a dozen places that actually have access well, to it. Well, you have to have a certification to even get it. To even order it here. Yeah. And how do they do that? They have to ship it the same day and it has to be fucking, because they, no, they can't, no, no. It, not it, freezing they it. it. They do freeze it. They freeze it? It's frozen. Absolutely. That sucks. Yeah, it is 100% frozen. It, but it, it isn't. Because real way, it's like frozen butter. It actually doesn't do anything. There's such high fat content. Right. It actually doesn't do it. And there's a lot of th people that say that like the molecular makeup of beef is actually better frozen once than after. It, it tenderizes it. So you have to freeze it once, but then after that, it must sit. It, yeah. Well, it just needs to be in the fridge or forever. Or, forever. But it is much like butter. If you were to freeze butter, it doesn't do fucking anything because there's so much fat. Yeah, there's well, it's pure. There's fat. nothing to do. Yeah, that's you true. Know? So, so they do. They ship that shit for uh, like deep, deep froze, like Dude, minus that's twenty. So weird. I didn't yeah. know because I thought when they, I had it one time in Japan. Mm. No, I had it a few times, but I went to Japan once. But I had a fucking this guy explain to me. Mm. It's too long of a story to tell in this, but I will no. tell you off air one time. No, short it's a, story long. It's a, a short story long. Mm. Is we ended up in this neighborhood. We didn't. We ended up there on accident because we were going to see a. Um, uh, a show, like a live show, a dancing show that had been canceled that we didn't Ping know. Pong. So we just walked around mm. in this neighborhood, saw a little restaurant, thought, this could be cool. There's like six tables in there. It's mm. like in a neighborhood on a stream. Yeah. I'll show you photos. I think I've told this stupid story you. before. But I anyway, you. No, I've, I, no, you should see it. It's beautiful. Mm. But I, anyway, I've told this stupid story. But we walked in, uh, no reservation, no reservation. We end up finding out, this is like a five-star private there invite only. Yeah, you got in. I'm like, oh, fuck. We're at the wrong place. The chef comes out and he's just, interested in us for some reason yeah and he was like where are you from how do you know this like how did you find how us? did you get in here and i was like I, you fucking on accident <laughs> yeah. and he literally was like okay go down the street to a bar yeah go get a drink yeah. and come back at eight because right. we close at eight right for no reason this guy does so we go i'm like is this real we go back no shit it's he, closed it's us and the chef yeah. and a couple of staff and he cooks us the most incredible meal mm. and sits and wants to talk to him about, about our travels. And we sit mm. and had four bottles of fucking wine. I mean, I'm blacked yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. And he's serving me like the best beef I've ever had in my life. Yeah, he's right. serving it rare, raw, yeah. seared. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's the best I've ever had. And he, could, he explains to me, he went to school for the molecular study of beef mm. in the University of Colorado here. And he said to me, there is a handful of restaurants in the United States that actually can have even get access yeah. to real shit. You have to be certified. Actually. That's bonkers to yeah. me. Because I thought, you hear, you hear it. You go to nice restaurants in New York or whatever, and you hear they're like, why go? And I'm it's, like, it's like is people it? saying, oh, it's local. Right. It's like, what yeah. does that mean? Yeah. What? From, it's local? Well, it's local on the globe. Is there a farm 20 minutes from here? <laughs> yeah. I'm in Manhattan. What's <laughs> yeah, local? Dude. You know, yeah. it's just like this whole 100 miles shit. So it's just like, but I think a lot of people with, with Wagyu and Kobe and all this other stuff and Snowflake and like. What's Snowflake? Snowflake's like the, that's like the stuff that Benny gets. That's Benny, like, that's like buy, tip top. He buys the best of the best, like six hundred a pound or something like that, or crazy. Yeah, I've Probably, I've, yeah. I've heard I've heard that's about the price of the like top. Like he like yeah he he's wild. I love it. Well, he's got too much money. He's got too much. So might as well spend it on he's snowflake. Got, and he is a liberal basket. snowflake. Yeah. So you know what? That's why you eat that way, you liberal snowflake. Mm, Benny. Benny. Yeah. Tell me the other party. 
I cut you off, but I want to hear the other party. So it was for this rich Russian guy. I didn't, like an oligarch or some shit? I'm obsessed with those it was guys. Like, it was like a situation where it was, he's got like, he's a billionaire, obviously. Sells like international arms. Yeah, like he, he has like um, his, 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 uh, his yacht. Is, his yacht, I think, is like $2.5 his yacht's a two billion dollars or something like that. That's like the you could buy the island of Jamaica for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? You could you could, yeah. little, you could buy an island. You could for, buy for you two could billion. buy a lot of stuff. And I think it had like a thing like somebody was saying that you can't take a, even a photo of it. It has like a force like it. Shit, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, I was like, you can't take a photo of the guy's yacht. And he's got like one of those things where the he has a pool out on the deck that rises up to a helicopter fucking pad, Fuck and then off. it like goes down. And is on a boat on a boat. God, dude. So I went to this party. Yeah. And that's where I saw uh, uh, Leo with the va- It was a dinner. How did you get invited to the party? Are you the, cooking? Uh, Are you working? No, no, no. I was just there. Being a homie. And um, the, cool, the coolest thing out of the whole thing, like, so I talked to Jimmy Buffett for like an hour. Did he have a Hawaiian shirt like, on? Did, did he have a Hawaiian shirt on? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, <laughs> and he was, it, it was amazing. You're talking about moose hunting? Moose hunting. And his great great grandfather is Canadian. Really? And, uh, and he, and, cause I, like, it's so funny. Wherever I go, people are like, oh, he's Canadian. And, it, and, it, like, I, I'm in a circle of people. And then all of a sudden, oh, and Jimmy, and Jimmy was just like, oh, my great grandfather was fucking Canadian. I was like, oh, crazy. He's like, yeah, he's from Newfoundland. I'm like, oh, my dad's from Newfoundland. And then we start talking about interior hunting of moose in Newfoundland. And I'm right. like, yeah, I've, I've, I've hunted and, and we've, we've, I've bagged a, a moose before and, you know, field dressed it. And I was showing him photos and all that. I'm like, here's its heart. And we're just talking about hunting. And that was really cool. And then it was, it was just crazy. Like all for two weeks, like every time I'd, I'd just be like, Hey Jimmy, like it was just like an incredible Jimmy thing. Buff is your buddy now. Yeah. And, and it's like, but his wife is like, she runs the whole thing. His wife runs. St. Him. Paul's. Oh, yeah. Jimmy's wife runs the Island. Yeah. She's, she's literally, they've been going there for like 45 years. And so like, she is literally the queen yeah, and then like, straight up. Do you so, like? Do you like his music? I I I don't think Look I've ever me. heard it. No, don't lie. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know. I've heard the song. My mom is a. She lost it when I told her. She was like, "Excuse me." White people from from uh, <laughs> fifty two yeah. to with plus fake boobs are obsessed yeah. with Jimmy Buffett. Yeah, my mom like that's like on, they're, dancing that's like, on a table. Yeah, you know, my One, mom, a, a boob falls out. She's got oh, some Chardonnay. Jody! Margarita Bell. Yeah. yeah. Back in the day. Yeah. 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 Twenty five years ago, Joni. But you and Jim became homies then. It was. It was. A, it was. A, it was like a very interesting thing because I was. The, Trisha didn't come to this party. She was just like, "You fuck this whole thing." Like Trisha's just like so <laughs> anti. She's. I was like, "Come, come, come, come." She's like, over can, it, dude. She's like eight months pregnant. She's oh, like dude. just hot. Fucking. She, she's like got a fan on her. Fucking. You know. On her hooch. You know, it's hot here. Yeah. It's hot here. And she's like, you go to your cool fucking bullshit and fucking, you know, say what's up to the loser. Like, she's one of those people. She's like, right. th- doesn't care. She doesn't like Hollywood losers. She does not. Yeah. She just doesn't care. She's very indifferent, truly. Like, there's nothing. She doesn't care about uh, fancy bags or anything. My old lady's the she, same she's way. She's the best. It just doesn't mean She wants much. to guard it. She yeah. wants, she's real. She's a real human that is lovely. Fucking, she's the best. Yeah. But she was like, she's like, just go. Because I was like, I'll stay. And she's like, you, re- you really want to go. You want to go vape with Leo. I want to go vape with Leo. And, uh, and it was incredible. I was, we were standing in a thing, and it was like, he, Leo, Chris Rock, and like, Chris Rock uh, dead fish to me on the handshake. I, I got introduced, Ooh. and I was just like, I was just like, hey, what's up, man? And he was just like, what's up? And I was just like, Didn't give I fuck. get it. I, yeah. I'm like, I get it. Hey, you're Chris Rock. I get it. You do get it. I don't get it. Shake a, sh- if you're gonna shake, shake a hand, hand, shake a hand, hand, shake a hand. But he, he, I got like a dead fish from Chris Rock, and I was like, okay, Chris Rock, you'll see this. Mm-hmm. Chris, Christopher, Christopher, make me a wagyu cheeseburger. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> and the fucking and but the thing that was amazing was Jimmy Buffett's wife scolded him. Chris for Rock, being, Chris Rock, being like you, she's from the south, and she was like. You were rude to me, mister. And, and she said ev- that to Chris Rock? And everyone, it's like, literally I'm sitting as, it's like Rick Rubin, Leo, Chris Rock, David Geffen, like Holy crazy shit. inner shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and she's standing there smoking a joint, and she's just like, you were rude to me once. 
after he shook my hand, and I was just, she didn't see that he like dead fished me or whatever. Sure. He just kind of was like. So you loved it. And I was just like, and she was just yeah, looking at Chris Joy. Rock. And she's wearing this beautiful white dress. And like, she's just like, you were rude to me. And he was just like, and everyone was just like, oh. Did he even respond? And he was just like, well, I'm sorry. And he's got like two models with him yeah. and stuff. And I was just like, this is incredible. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> and like Leo's just like vaping and like just blowing fucking dragon Jimmy fucking Buffett's clouds. making margaritas. <laughs> yeah, it was like incredible. Leo's puffing clouds. Like, yeah, Rock like is getting rushing. scolded <laughs> yeah. by another adult. Yeah. And, and it, we were in an elevator once and you didn't hold the door for me. And I was just like, like what? So, like, like, and, 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 how do you remember that shit? And I was just like, she did. And I was just like, this. And he was just like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm, you know, whatever. And I was just this like, is her island, dude. Yeah, it was incredible. It was like one of those. She like big dogged him hard, like in front of everybody too. And I was just like, this is incredible. And then, I, and then, like, I was just like, whatever. And then Leo was pitching like a environmental film to this other guy. I was watching him. Like, he's like, we got to do this thing. Like, the world's over. And I was like. This is incredible. Is this real? Leo's pitching right now? And I was just like, it was like an incredible thing that I was just like, and he's like talking about being vegan. He's like, I'm vegan. I'm just like, this. I'm like, what? I, don't you always eat like sandwiches? And I was just like, I was just like, this is amazing. I'm like, you're not vegan. You're smoking like juice. You don't even know what that is. Right. And it was just like incredible. And then, and then, um, and then at the very end, I was just like, and I asked the dude I was with, I was just like, yo, like, can I ask Leo for a photo? And he's just like, yeah, totally. Let's chill. And I was just like, yo, Leo. I was like, you were really good in Gilbert Grapes. And he started laughing. Of course. And he was just like, that's funny. That is very funny. And he's like, I like that. And I was like, can I get a selfie? And he was just like, yeah. So you snagged one. Let me so, see. Yeah. Let's see the Leo pic. I'll just Google image it. Because there's been like Canadian articles. About, about like, you with Leo? About just me. Like I used to, I had a whole thing where when I first got like a lick of like fame and I'm being a Canadian guy, yeah. I would take selfies with like everybody. I'd just be like selfies with Would it. you post them or would you just have them? No, I'd post them. Yeah, I'd just be would, like, yeah. fuck it. I was just a like, new boost. guy on the block. I'd yeah. be like, ooh, who's this? Will yeah, Smith? Ba boom. Gotcha. <laughs> like, gotcha, my bell. Another famous guy? And it's just like, what's this? Leo. Leo Maddie Matheson. Matheson. Vape bros. Vape Juice bros. gods. Cloud, cloud kings. Wait, oh, wait. Here, here's the Chef Maddie Matheson selfies with celebs. Here's the article. <laughs> <laughs> and this is amazing. This was written where I had his Instagram account. At a booming 74,000. This one I had 74,000. Now you're up to a milli. A milli. There's the party. And he's giving a little thumbs up. A little, a, thumbs a little vape up, thumbs Leo. up. A little vape thumbs up. A little vape thumbs up. There's me. <laughs> There's that guy. What's his name? I don't know who that is. I spread it open. Look, he's like the, the, white, the white comedian Oh, guy. Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> He's the white comedian guy. He's the guy. white comedian guy. He's one of you. He looks and like this, you guys. This was, the first, this was the night me and Benny there. Me that's and when Benny you and, and Benny Ed, met. That's me and Benny. And Ed, Ed Sheeran, Sheeran wanted my burgers. And so Ed came to the restaurant. They, they rolled up and we were. I was driving these guys around in my truck. I brought him to like a house party and shit because I didn't know who he was. Yeah. And we were just going to like, I brought him to all these house parties. It was pretty Do you meet? you ever meet people and you don't know who they are and you feel like weird about the, like I'm not... Wait, who is that? Who is John that? John Snow. Snow? Yeah. Sex. He, he was shooting a movie. He, the hot guy. He was at our pub every day for three months. Because they were shooting a film out there? Yeah, he, he was fucking on one. When you, know, you, ever, meet, you ever meet someone yeah. that's, that's like, that you don't know that they're famous and somebody has to tell you and then, like, because I don't know people. I'm really bad with names. So I've met people. Like, you know who I met? I met the kid from, um, uh, used to be in, um, what's the boy band? What's like the biggest boy band on earth? Uh, one Direction or? In Sync. No, One Direction, right? One the Direction? new one. I'm not talking about 30 years ago. One Direction. Wait, is One Direction right? I don't know. I don't. <laughs> Fuck, dude, I'm so bad at that. One yeah, Direction. One, Direction. one I met, Direction. I met one of the kids from One Direction. Yeah, but would you even know like the Jonas Brothers if you met them? Yeah, dude, yes, of course I would. You would know the Jonas Brothers? Yes, okay. I should know who, like this guy, Harry Styles, you know these guys, One Direction, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Styles I, is the guy who wears the silk, a lot of he silk. He wears dresses and stuff yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like I, how, I said silk, and you're like dresses. Well, that's what they are. Yeah, yeah. Just, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying, no. yeah, he, li he likes to wear dresses. Yeah, yeah. Um, and good for him if you can pull it off. If you got that kind of bod, if you have that kind of slender fig. I wish if I wore a dress, I'd look like a dumpster. You'd look like a suburban mom. Yeah. You look <laughs> like yeah, I'm like on a John Waters movie. Yeah. I just look like Divine. Yeah, you would though. Yeah. But it'd be kind of hot. Divine's number one. You, but you'd be John hot. Water you like John Waters movies? Love. Yeah. What do you mean? Love. Best. Yeah, he's the dark. best. You're the dark. I meet. I meet one of the. Um, I meet one of the members there and I don't know it's him but yeah. I'm talking to him and then like a like I don't really care about fame or what and it, it's like it doesn't matter I don't no. I'm not like impressed by you it like but, me but no you're no. I'm you're barely on my like scale okay but the dumb thing I do if I don't know who they are the, the only thing that's embarrassing about it is when I'm like 
what do you do? Because if they mention something, <laughs> like, what do you do? What do you do? And then they don't know how to answer without sounding like a pompous. You're like, I'm right. a, I'm an Oscar winner. They're like, oh, Grammy I'm a, I'm winner. A, yeah, I'm a world tour. Like, I'm the I'm the most famous person. Google. Right. Just Google the most famous person. And I've done person. this a mul multitude of times yeah. where I've embarrassed myself You're and like, I'm like, oh, what do you do? Are you? Or I'll say what I said. I'm not going to mention names. It's no, not, but but I, have I love. I say all the names. He's like a real. He's a real professional. Where he doesn't. Well, no, say, it's just, I'm like it's just, David Geffen. And Jimmy <laughs> because, I'm going to get assassinated. Because it's embarrassing for me. Yeah. Because I, I'll, I said to somebody, "Are you in the music industry?" Because they kept talking, and then after, you look like a manager. You don't look like. Yeah. You actually look like the I character. I play one on TV. Yeah, you look like a manager. But somebody says to me afterwards, they go, "Do you ask him if he's in the fucking music industry?" And I was like. <laughs> Yeah, and he's like, "Do you are you fucking the are dumbest human on earth?" And then they told me who it was, and I was like, "Oh shit, mm. I, I fucking I That's like Sean Mendez." Yeah. <laughs> It was it, it was Ari it was Ariana Grande. No. Ariana Grande. Hey, are you Ariana Grandes? Hey, Grandes. That sounds like everybody in, from Chicago and my family. Hey, are you Who you mean out there in Hollywood, Ariana Grandes? <laughs> you know them? Don't you love that about your family? Do you know ha do you know uh, Justin Bieber's wife, Haley Bieber? No. <laughs> He used Baldwin. to be Baldwin's kid. Biodome. Great movie. They talk about these people like they know them. That's yeah. the best part about back home is like they talk about Hollywood people like they know them well. Yeah. Like they're like it's a part of their Dude, social grouping. After I was on Jimmy Kimmel, my yeah. entire town that's how I won over the town. I love Finally, I love like him. everyone I saw, Jimmy, Jimmy. Kimmel. So I want Jimmy Kimmel. I'm just like, what? Okay. But like, that does feel good. It does, no, it's an interest. It's a funny thing. I wore a speedo on Jimmy Kimmel when oh. we when we were premiering Punked, and I climbed on his desk and got tased <laughs> by, and I got tased by uh, Guillermo. Ugh. For real, they and he hit me with a real wrong. taser. Good. I I kind of was like, this is gonna be like a prop. It was a it was fucking a real, real taser. taser. It hurt. Yeah, it fucking hurt. It hurt. He hit me in the. He hit me Why here. Your heart it hit me on the ass. Tasers it, freak me out. Well, the gun taser freaks me out. Right. This was. What is this? What's the difference? This the, is a the, taser. The cords. Yeah. The, like the like the cop cords. That's out of the gun. That's that wasn't it. It was like out of the hand. Oh, zap! Right here, and he hit me on the ass. But 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 I rem still. I remember thinking in the bathroom, I was like, "This is gonna be fucking huge for me." And it, not, not one person. You always think like the moments aren't the moments. No, they're not. They're never like I was like these first are the moments. Want, the, these this. are the moments. This is the moment. This is the moment. Someone's gonna see this and be like, "I need him." <laughs> I need Maddie. I need him to be on a show. On a show. A what did show. you say the first time you were on? What you cut yourself off. You, but you said these aren't the mo the, those aren't. Well, the no, moments. just like I remember the because I think I went on Seth Meyers first. Yeah, I did like Seth Meyers, and it was like I was literally by myself, like no team, no yeah, like yeah, any. Yeah. I was literally you by myself, hair and makeup. Yeah, and it was so incredible. They they were like, "Yo, we're we're really doing a lot of stuff with the social media. Shoot, like you getting ready at like your hotel to when you arrive." Ah, uh, word. We're gonna put up the stories. Mm -hmm. So I'm like in the bathroom and I'm like in the shower. I got my phone completely covered in soap. I'm like, I'm coming to Seth Myers. <laughs> and like, I'm gonna come and see you, Seth. I'm coming to see and I do this whole like thing where I'm like <laughs> on my way for me and Seth, my my new best friend. Yeah. You're like, we can't use anything. I sent them like 50 videos. Dude, I want to so naked over. in the whole thing. I was like talking to the Uber driver. I was like, do you know Seth Myers? He's like, I don't know. Like, and I was just like, <laughs> and it was like amazing. He says like some weird off color stuff. And I was just like videoing him. And I was just like, I'm going to Seth Myers. I got a big show. I'm going to cook him a cheeseburger. And I was just like, oh my God. And I did the thing. And I was just like, ah, no. and they used none of it. Yeah. They, but that's what happens. On, you, the th I think you're right though. The they're like, do the work. No, we don't like it. it. Thank you. you. You know what Neil Brennan says is my favorite phrase he ever said. S when somebody's asking you to do their dishes, that's what it is. They're like, do the dishes. <laughs> that's what Brennan says. He's like, when yeah. people in the business will ask you to do their dishes. Yeah, do, do, do something. And you're like, why am I doing your dishes? Don't do the dishes. I do what that's I a do. That's great. Don't do other people's he's dishes. He's funny. Neil is very funny. He's funny. But he's, he, he, we'll have phone calls. We'll, we'll talk for hours at a time. Mm. And he has so much like insightful small stuff like that because I told him about he's an intelligent. issue. intelligent. Yeah, he's, he's like actually intelligent. Yeah. Not like when somebody goes, that guy's smart. You're like, What smart. I just did to you. Yeah, but you're, right, because you're stupid. And I'm you're stupid, but you're a little smarter little smarter than, than you. Yeah, but not by much. No. It's 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 teetering on. It's a, it's almost we're equal smart, but I think because if I didn't do the excessive amount of drugs, then you'd be the same as me. Yeah. So but that's what I'm saying. It's right there. I probably have more money than you. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. Okay. And and less and less pride. And less pride. Yeah. Yeah. And le and, but your ego is bigger. My ego is no. It, very intense. our ego is no My your therapist ego. says i'm work i'm working on it <laughs> <laughs> do you have a male or a female therapist dr rose 
is a male or a, wo- a man or a woman? She's a woman. Good. I can't get a male therapist. I started can't doing. Trust I started them. doing therapy virtually. I never have done therapy in my life, and I started doing it. The pandemic made me. Can I tell you something? Per- yes. So I've done both. Yeah. And not like there's a weird plug because I talk about it on the show. Mm. I prefer online. I like it. I love it. You can do it anywhere. Yeah. You don't have to go. It's more for me that I just, I, d- the, ha- therapy is like the gym. <laughs> yeah. I, I like lifting weights. Mm. I don't want to go to the fucking place. I don't like the gym. I don't like the fucking gym. I don't, I don't like, like the, the people. Gym. I don't like how it smells. You see other people in the gym. I don't like it. I don't want to see the other people in the so gym. So the reason I like anything at home now, like especially doing therapy at the mm. house is like, oh, Where I don't. Where do you do? Where do you do it if your wife's home? In another room. And just go in another room? Yeah, go to the other side of the house. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. What do you mean? You have I other sides of your home. Oh, you do, you want to be totally away. I go I go in my car. I go in my car, and then I let like the people outside in like the parking lot here. You know, <laughs> just like, roll down the windows. Phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just go to the other side of the crib, and it's just it, yeah. It, it, that's a known thing. You just are like, mm. I like my time in my house because then I feel more comfortable, and I'm at my own house. A lot of times, if I go somewhere, mm. I'm like I'm sitting on this weird. Uh, uh, like casting couch of emotions. Yeah. Other people have spilled Other out their guts. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's bad juju in those rooms. Yeah. Not like I'm saying don't. I'm just saying I prefer to be in my own spot. And then you're more comfortable, more vulnerable. By the way, that's going to be the future of everything. Even I've, I've done Teladoc. I did Teladoc. Teladoc? Do you know what that is? What do you show? You've got to show like a spot. You're like, I got a spot. Check no, no, dude. I had to do a Teladoc because after I had Rones, mm. um, I was like getting these crazy dizzy spells. Like oh. and I and I never had them. Do you drink a lot of water? Do I normally? Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you a water dodger? My piss is clear. No, clear. I'm always drinking a lot of water. I like that. Piss clear. Piss. It's like a uh, um, consomme. Consomme. My piss is consomme. Your piss is consomme. And I and I I did a teledoc appointment at the crib, and I got to tell you, I was like, oh, dude, if I could, mm. this is if I could do this for mm. the rest of my life and never go into a doctor's office again, mm. I'm let's do that. Because do you think you should imagine if you're a therapist? Couldn't, yeah. couldn't people just if you don't go into the office you don't see the thing on the wall the certificates anyone could be a therapist yeah but anybody can be in, it can be in anything you know when you meet you when, you when you meet somebody you don't know their credentials I would be a firefighter hey dude my business manager mm. how do I know he went to school no no I don't know no so it's kind of no. like I don't really give a fuck as long as you're like doing your accountant. it accountant have you ever really asked to see the paperwork no you know he, he could just be them. he could just be Mike from Encino. Yeah. Yeah. He's Mike like, from Encino. He's like, what? I used to work at In and Out before this. Now I'm and, doing if your they books. They give you any type of tax return. You're just like, oh, sweet, cool. He did it. Perfect. Right. Everything's they're, perfect. They're stealing from us stealing. exponentially. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. I always say, I'm like, I'm gonna do an audit. Yeah, one day on them. I'm, I always say that to my like. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna do you. an audit, and they're like, anytime. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> they're like, Figure we control it all. Right. Yeah. They're like, you're only fans? Yeah. We yeah. see those hit the fucking credit cards. They're like, we're cooking the books, bitch. Yeah. We know They're what the fuck books. you're up to. They're like, uh, 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 business managers and accountants are basically um, Scientologists because they know all your dirt. They, they, they know, know how you spend your money. So they're like, oh, really? Do you want us to tell Trish about all that uh, money yeah. you were spending uh, at, at, on your OnlyFans account? Yeah. Your Pornhub premium? Does Trish want to know about that? Uh, I can't. I had a whole full internet free. I canceled everything. I was, it was incredible. And then, and then all of a sudden, I was just like, I don't have anything left. And then I had to go back to ads. Boo. I had a free lifetime. Pornhub? Let's talk again. <laughs> At Pornhub. At Stop. Pornhub. Get, get Maddie back to where he belongs. Because, like, I, I deleted the... I got scared. I got spooked. There's a lot of stuff going on. I was like, I can't have attachments to all these things. I got fake... I got, a, I got good names on there, too. I got, like, little personas. <laughs> and... <laughs> Paul McCartney. Paul, Paul like, McCartney 69. Yeah, Paul That's McCartney mine. 69. By the way, I don't know if you've ever used the Oculus, but the Oculus and... Uh, I've never done the Oculus. I want My to. guy, I have one. I'll, I'll let you like try it. You need like a smell thing too, though. You can Imagine sm- smelling it. Smell it smells the like ass. pennies. You can smell the... You can it smells smell like the just ass. like a, a change drawer. <laughs> like a fucking... It just smells <laughs> like, like... a big jar of change. Yeah, like a jar of change. That's a specific smell. Add like a little smell. bit of water. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You can smell it. The Oculus is wild to watch, is wild to watch porno in, but also... It's, but you don't know where you're drinking... Like, it's too close. It's That's my biggest beef. It's, it's too close. It's, you're, it's like, it's too alive. You can hear it? Earbuds in. No, dude, it, ha- it has speakers built into the thing. Yeah, you can hear the sucking. Do you like the anime stuff? Sometimes. Every, there's a I do. there's a moment for everything. Yeah, I do. I, I like it sometimes. Once in a while. Because you go to the end of the... It's like you go to the end and you look over and there's just a vast ocean. And yeah. then you got to go to the other coast. And you got to see where the other coast is going. You don't, and like, you don't, Pornhub at some point will turn into Netflix where it's like, we have we have everything. And you're like, you have too many things. Yeah. You have way too many things. Mm. That's why simplicity sometimes... That's why in and out is type successful. In words. You just type in some words. Like three words. Yeah. They're like sad... Barf, fart, fight. Yeah. Barf, fart, fight. Florida. Florida. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they're like, we know. 
Yeah, we, we already know, we, we've to already this is Florida. This already happened. those words are already in Florida. Um, anyway, my love. Okay, look, I could talk to you for six hours, but you've got to go do um, tacos. I gotta go meet Benny. You gotta been, go do tacos. We've been doing almost two hours. Good. Well, you gotta go do tacos. Yeah, I gotta go like downtown um, or somewhere. You know how we end the show with one word or one phrase. You're gonna look into the camera when I walk off. You say whatever you want to say to end us out. Wait till I get off camera and then do it gracefully. Okay. If I could have one person impregnate me, it would be Andrew. I would birth the child at home with the windows open. It would be a sunny day, and I would give him a child that he deserves. Thank you, Andrew, for having me on. This podcast is now successful a little bit more. Thank you. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.